Hi, Gail. I was having some computer issues, as you probably noticed, when I had to keep coming back. Yeah, well, we knew you'd figure it out. Okay. You're going to ask us for this. Do we have any limit on how long a name can be? <laughs> what a question. Uh, Hold on. Let's, let's get a very serious answer here, because there's a couple of considerations. One is I feel like it can't, it has the limit of whatever the zoom field is. At least, I, I, right? I guess, uh, I guess it really isn't one. And then Susan's attention span. Well, <laughs> Susan will shorten it, whatever it is. That's true. Okay. We can, yeah. we well, can, we can put the whole thing in and then you can shorten it because it shortens. I'm, I'm waiting for Vincent. Man. I'm what? waiting to hear you say something. You're, oh. Uh, well, you kind of ruined it now. <laughs> it's, it's, it's done. The joke is over. Well, fine. I don't know, though. Thanks, do Kevin, think? for ruining his only... Yeah. He only has one job. I was just waiting. I'm waiting. One job is all he has, and you just spoiled it. Thanks, Kevin, for being such a part I don't really know, though. I don't what really if know. lives in a two-sided consent state? So, Kyle... Uh huh. That's true. You know that we are being recorded. I do now. Are we? Yes. Exactly. Oh, oh, I'll wow. keep that in mind. You guys are all different places on my screen. It's so nice. <laughs> I just, I just, just I withhold my joke about FDR's polio. Then that's yeah. okay. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Whoa. Too soon. Too, too soon. soon. <laughs> yeah. Too soon. Just skip it. <laughs> My neighbor gave me sweet peas and they smell so flipping amazing. So I just carry the bouquet around with me for the house. They, well, that's a good sign, then you have a sense of smell. Yeah, I, I've never lost my sense of smell. If starting with Omicron, that wasn't a common symptom anymore. But it is right? still a symptom. Oh, it's, not, it's, not, it's not common. It's I don't know anyone who, who, who had it who, who lost it. Yeah, I didn't lose it. My friend I have a friend that had Omicron and she did not, she lost it for a long time. When she got COVID another time, a year or so later, she regained her smell most of it. And by the way, they don't test everyone and tell you what version you have. You're just assuming because yeah. it's a majority. She might yeah. not have had Omicron. That's expensive to test for that. Oh, yeah. yeah, there's yep. no reason to do it. We just got to guess anyway. All right. So here we are once again. 122 games and more coming up, I guess. So this is great. Thank you guys for joining me. I'm feeling 100% better than I did last week, which was day one of symptoms. And now, Why were you falling apart? Well, I wasn't feeling 100% last week, but now I'm feeling every day you, you get past it, you feel so much better that you don't realize how bad you felt at the time. Is Mark, Mark feeling equally as well? Mm -hmm. He's about the same. His well, back's well, bothering him a little bit, but that's it. You said, thank you for joining me. I was like, why are you falling apart? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Another dad joke. Yeah. Oh, that was the You got to kind of put up like, you know, a little warning because I'm not always sure when it's a dad joke or not, you know. <laughs> it was a dad kind of, joke. Kind of dad's been dead for years. Okay. So tonight we have, we have, we have a little bit smaller crew. But we probably will be joined with some people, and that's no big deal. We've dealt with this many times before. We have Sarah Jones here from the Sacramento area who says she's played with us before when we did um, the Skeptical, which is on a Saturday. So I was going to say you got to be super polite and really nice and all that garbage. But now, now that we know it's not Sarah's first time, just the first time with this kind of group. So, all right. So. And secondly, second second round is Cindy, and this is her first time doing a round. So you know the rules. Everybody says everything is wonderful and nice and nobody can win. <laughs> the next time she tries to do a category, you can rip into her. Just not this time, all right? So just making sure, try to cut the keep the end jokes to a minimum so everybody feels included in the game. And, um, and Jane's back. I think this is your third time, right, Jane? It's my second. <laughs> Well, your second that's why i watched once on youtube that's right so it feels like three because she watched one <laughs> i hope you guys are all watching them 
I'm just saving them up for when I have Alzheimer's so that I can watch them over and over again. <laughs> never know who wins. Never know who, mm. never know the answers. It's always fresh and new to me. When you see yourself, you'll be like, hey, I know her. Yeah. We don't, we don't know the answers anyway. Remember how they've been repeated? Yeah. And oh, yeah. We've had games. We've repeated. And all we've been able to do is say, we've had that question before. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I still remember the answer. What's the state uh, drink in Rhode Island? I've asked that like three times. Mm-hmm. Anybody remember? Pocket milk. Coffee milk. Coffee milk. Well, I knew it was milk, so I'm getting there and it's brown. Mm-hmm. I'm getting there. All right. So we have some team names coming up here. First, first team is Bob, <coughs> Kyle, and Vincent. So what you got for me tonight? We are the three mouse cutters. I thought it was moose cutters. Oh, sorry. The three. Oh, this oh. is entirely different. Yeah, here, let's fix this. <laughs> what's what's <laughs> moose it doesn't cutters. make sense if it was about moose cutters. Where are moose My bad. Yeah, because that did, makes so much more sense. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are they? There's three, three of them. Cutters. Okay. How does one cut a moose? They're what? Three moose cutters. Three moose cutters. Yeah. Like cutting the cheese, cutting the, the moose. Three musketeers. The three um, moose yeah, there you go. Yeah. That didn't take I'm sorry, there. it's over my head. I got COVID. I'm going to avoid COVID for the next few months. All for one and one for all. Pathos, Porthos, and Bullwinkle. Yeah. <laughs> so the next team is Cindy, Faith, Romero, and Kevin. We are Biden Hood. We rob from the rich and give to the poor students. There you go. That's good. Put it in the chat. like it i'm waiting for it to appear in chat so i can just copy it yeah it's taking me a little while to type okay (laughs) don't talk jamie peggy and sarah uh trump only shops at trader joe's (laughs) oh nice (laughs) good one i don't know why that tickled my fancy for some reason Uh he's having a very bad month it is not Uh not be happier well, Biden from, hood. We rob. Oh, here comes Caspian. Biden no, hood, from, we rob from the rich and and he we rob. We Biden rob from hood. the rich and give to the poor students. Mm-hmm. I smell from wrong. I'll fix it over here. They, they rob from the rich. She does not want to go back. He robs from. And she she robs from the rich. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he's got a, a horse. Uh, he's got a, a, a neighbor or his grandchild or something over there. Okay. And look, Caspian's here. Is Jamie there with you too, Caspian? Yes. Yay. Jamie and Caspian. Wow. Yay. I'm going to put them. I think I need to put them on the first team because there's still only three. But then your game, yes. your name would be awful. You can't be the three moose cutters. Yeah, but we, we, need, them, we need them more because you put somebody on our team that you had to move. And one person. Yeah, we need them. So we only have two people left. On <laughs> Jane, Terry. So two people will be. Uh, yeah, let me just go ahead and put Jamie and Caspi in there. Oh, okay. Okay, sounds great. Okay, so um, team number four: Janine, Carl, Larry, Susie, and Rob. Oh, here comes Ben. I'll put Ben on one. We are okay. seeking forgiv- forgiveness from the government for the first ten wrong answers. Yeah. Uh, Good one. Okay. Seeking forgiveness. Okay. Gail, who was telling me she's got a long title game name, which is like yep, how many long it is. So it's, it's so Gail, many Ron, long one. Jane, Terry, Jamie, and Caspian. It, it is a it is a quote from Groucho Marx. He may look and act and sound like an idiot, but don't let that fool you. He is an idiot. <laughs> and given that he died in 1977, he didn't know he was predicting the future. You might have won the award for the longest one, just barely. There's two other two other ones here tonight. But okay. I think you could shorten it to he is an idiot for <laughs> all right. So here we are tonight. Tonight, my unconventional conventionalist on August 25th, 2022. So I'm told it's a Thursday. I don't know anymore. 
I can't keep track. And we are here together, joined in, wait, we're playing trivia. <laughs> <laughs> Game 122, we're on season three, three, thank you, three. And this is episode 13 of game number of uh, season three. So that's pretty exciting. We have tonight five teams, five teams, five amazing teams that are going to compete against each other for the amazing prize of bragging rights to be able to win the game. So here's what we have tonight that are playing and duking it out. Use your, your psychic powers to predict who is it is that will be our winning team tonight. So team number one, Ben, you're on this team. The three moose cutters, plus Ben, I guess, versus Biden Hood. He robs from the rich and gives to the poor students. Versus Trump only shops at Trader Joe's. <laughs> Trader Joe's. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, versus seeking forgiveness from the government for the first 10 wrong answers. Versus he may look, act, and sound like an idiot, but don't let that fool you. He is an idiot. A quote from Groucho Marx. So here we go. We are ready to go. Our leaders tonight are going to be Vincent, who's starting off the round. Uh, and then we're going to have Cindy giving her very first, very first category of all times. Peggy will be uh, leading up with number three. Rob Palmer, who's fresh on leave from prison, is number four, followed by our Gail, who will be doing a bonus. So I'm excited to see how it's going to go tonight. This should be interesting. Uh, we do have a visit, we, not a visitor. We have uh, Sarah, as I mentioned earlier today, she's she's from the Sacramento Skeptics, their second time playing, but the first time playing on a Thursday night. All right. So I've already given my the powers, the amazing powers over to our, <laughs> the king of the dad jokes, which is uh, um, Vincent. Yep. Go for it. Hey, shall I start? Go for it. Who's oh, I need to make a, to need to make a, I need to make a, a, a muter. Mute Mutator. Who am I going to make as my muter? Let's make it, uh, let's make it, who wants any, Peggy's going to do it. There you go. Mm. Okay, Peggy, you're in charge of uh, being the evil person tonight. And I'll be just the sweet, nice person. But I haven't done it in so long. Okay, I found it. All right, Vincent. Hey. I'm just waiting for it to mute people so that. No, we didn't want to know the category. Not yet. Yeah. Wait until they be able to, We want to be able to move, boo. Oh, okay. Um, the category is <coughs> geographic locations. Boo, boo, boo. Yeah. All right, I guess. All right. Two, three, one, got to move. Here we go. Vincent, don't forget, you have to not mute. Yes, I know. All right. Uh, number one is the copy. Copy. What is the capital of New Zealand? Number two. Which desert or dessert is <laughs> the largest in the world? Number three, what is the name of the world's longest river, not widest, longest? This one, I might give a hint if people need it, but yell out if you don't want it.
which city in India would you find the Taj Mahal in? Now, do people want a hint or not? No, I think we're no. okay. These others are going to be pretty easy, I think. Okay. All right. No hint. It's in India. Yeah, but what part of India? No, we didn't know when India that. is a large place. The one that has the Taj Mahal. Number five. Oh. Pace, pace, pace. There we go. Number five. Which continent is the largest by area? And that was the one that I had help from Avi from. Because originally I didn't have that. This one is the opposite. Yeah, but what, what is the smallest country in the world by area? Country or continent? You said it was the opposite of the other one. Yeah, well. Just wanna make sure you mean country. Oh, right, right, yeah, no, the first one, okay, sorry. Forget what I said. It is country then. Yeah, okay. smallest country in the world by area. Hermes Debra. <clears throat> She's gonna go on from one of the shops at Trader Joe's. And this one is for all my American friends. Which American state is the largest by area? This one is keeping with. What is the name of the thin and long country that spans more than half of the western coast of South America? Number nine, which two countries share the longest international border? Number 10, which country has the longest highway in the world? And there's a bonus. bonus. From question 10, how many miles does the highway cover? Plus or minus 200 miles. That's it. Very good. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Peggy or Vincent, you want to send this way? I'll add the new people to their teams and I'll be over on team one in a minute. Okay. I'm going to open the breakout rooms. Okay. Join. We're not assigned yet. Yeah. Okay. I'll take care of that. No problem. You're in five. Good to see you guys both. Well, I'll see you hopefully in a minute. Okay, it looks like I got everybody. Deba, 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 Deba. Hi, team. Oh, well. 
this is going to be a fairly simple round, so I'm going to leave the room. Straightforward. Leave you guys. Yeah. <clears throat> Bounce you around. Yeah. Um, Hold on. I have to kill something. You have to kill? Oh, geez. All right. It's dead. Okay. Uh, Kyle, you're muted. Oh, I was hoping for more information on this we killing thing, but also time. I didn't see anything. Listen, I'm no snitch. <laughs> <laughs> what is he talking about? Snitch. Okay, I, had to, so, uh, I had to kill a bug on my wall. No bug. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see it, thank God, because I would have just had a crying fit. Um, All right. Auckland, I have no idea about New Zealand. Auckland? That sounds what? right. A-U-C-K-L-A-N-D, Auckland. Oh, uh, okay. Damn it. Or is it Christchurch? No, it's not Christchurch. Okay. It's Are you sure it's not? I was in Christchurch. It wasn't a... Well, not, okay. not very region. yeah okay I've been oh, just de desert i believe this is the sahara that's what i was thinking oh i thought we we're talking about desserts largest no. dessert i mean that's, that's two more s's uh oh, yeah. susan L world's longest river is it the nile it, i'm pretty sure it's the nile i thought the amazon but i could be wrong oh yeah i don't know now it goes, no. starts way down in. Uh, Kevin is in. Toss up there. Um, okay, let's see. Do we like? India. Would you find the Taj Mahal? I don't know. No idea. Is it Delhi? New Delhi? All I know is that it's really far from everything else. And anyone who goes complains that it wasn't worth the trip. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I can Could see it. I can and... see. I can see pictures or video of it. That's all I need to see. Is it a whore or something like that? Put that. What is it? Lahore. I'm gonna I, need I, you I... to spell that. Yeah, exactly. L A. J O R. Type what I heard. So what? So what is the? So Bob, who do you got over there? Oh, he's my wife's son. Um, she's her his best friend, and and her mom hangs out there too. So there are there are guests for a couple of days. Okay, so, so some, a guest. Okay, <laughs> I'm like, uh, is there gonna be a quiz on this later? Because I don't know. Yeah, I'm right. talking about you. Say hi. Okay, that, see that. Tell her to say something, and she shuts up. It's, yeah, of course. It works. Okay. So, what continent yeah. is the largest so by area? Is that um, so? Is Tell Sean Eurasia. I would say so. Yeah. Is that a continent? Yeah. I, I don't know that as a continent. I think so. Asia, I think you're right. Yeah, I would there put are seven <laughs> continents, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. North America, South America, Asia, Africa, Europe. Uh, Antarctica, Australia. Australia. Yeah, Asia. Yeah. So it, it's country. not called. It's not called. Um, I don't believe Eurasia is the name of a continent. Okay, so Asia. Okay, what is the Is smallest the country in the world by area? I think country. this is Luxembourg. I think you're probably right. Eurasia might be considered a landmass, but not a. Country. Yeah. Well, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they've since rewritten what yeah, are, you know, that's the problem where the continents, the things that you learn yeah. when you were in school have since changed. Yeah, yeah. When oh, I was yeah. a kid, Europe and Asia were two separate continents, but then they came up with Eurasia. But I think that might be the land mass. So is it the uh, traditional? Does that have a U in it? I believe Some so, yeah. Like that. U, okay. U, U, you spell, no, no, but no O. I always added an That's the problem R, with Star Trek fans. Say. Uh, like <laughs> uh, come on <laughs> okay so the largest state i think is alaska is it yeah, alaska sure. does alaska beat yeah. out texas right oh yeah, oh, yeah. you could fit oh, three what I thought. in alaska yeah it's Texi just hard because the maps texas. make it look because we have the weird you know maps that yeah. don't show things accurately so this is yeah. 
Chile. Blue Chile. Yeah, yeah. that's Chile. Chile. What Chile. Country Chile. The longest international border. This one, I got a couple of guesses. Okay. What are your thoughts? Uh, Chile, uh, U.S. Canada border, and then like Turkey, Russia, or China, Russia. Yeah, I was wondering, I'm like, is the answer to nine going to be the same as eight? But then I was also like, oh, the U.S. and and uh, Canada border is pretty. Yeah, but that's only, it's that's, only not like as, half, that's not yeah. as wide as, as Canada. the Canada. That's a contender. I was thinking China, Russia, too, but I don't know. Yeah. Trying to picture it, but again, our maps that we have are... I think it might be China and Russia. I, I don't think I've ever heard Canada and America being mentioned as China, Russia. Let's do it. All right. Well, I, I just don't think it's American Canada, but if you think Russia and China would be this the next option. What country has the longest highway in the world? That's gotta be the US, right? You don't think it's well, China? here's the thing though. What which oh, country? Could be China. Because aren't there some highways that span multiple uh, countries and in Europe and stuff? But um, oh, yeah, like the question. autobahn. So in other words, it's in one country, <laughs> right? But yeah, that could be yeah. It could China, be the longest, India? but we're only. Do we think the China. Segments? China is almost always. They say whenever the question is what has what country has the largest most or whatever, it's almost always China or India. Yeah, but. Tallest. How much of China actually has real decent highway? I think it. It didn't say longest it. decent highway. Oh yeah, I know. I just you know you know there's parts of China that are just not <laughs> sure as industrialized. Oh, but then but... we got to come up with a bonus. How many? Oh my god, I have no idea. And the plus or minus is small. Like for two hundred, I think it's in the order of you know four digits. Right. Because you wouldn't do plus or minus 200 for like five or six digits. That would just be like crazy. Yeah. So Does anybody have a U.S. reference point? Like how long I-80 or Route 66 are? I don't know. Because, I mean, there's highways that, that are, you know, east-west highways that are pretty long. Well, it's 3,000 yeah. miles from the west coast to the east coast, right? Something like that. And so, 80 goes across a good half of it. So there's 1,500 miles. And with me ha having so, a two. So probably under 3,000. If it's in the U.S., but what if do China has Do we think U.S.? Some... Or do we oh. think China? So 4,000? 3,500? I don't know. But it's going to be probably around there, you would think, right? Not like 10,000. Yeah, no, I think four digits for sure. In the Leaning low on Under that. five? Under five, I yeah. I mean, China's big. But, how, but it, could, how many United States could fit into China? What's the plural United States? <laughs> United <laughs> I? United I? United, United I, yeah. United, how many could fit into China? couple i would think at least two I'm trying to picture a globe oh. in my mind yeah, right I'm not good at this proportion thing so if you could put two u.s into china and the longest highway we have is probably under 2000 then china would be four or something guessing it's an educated guess yeah so yeah i don't know Everybody all done, Vincent? They're getting they're getting close, but yeah. we're gonna go back and put some answers, yeah. these are definitive these answers are to some of our questions. Sure per, they are perplexing us. Really? Uh, well, because it's been easy. a long time since we had to memorize continents or anything. Oh, okay. You know, we we <laughs> haven't been in school in a while. I thought yeah. they all my geography yeah. answers have left my brain long, long ago. Yeah, I, I've never been anywhere, so I don't care. So what do we think? Do we want to go with China or do we want to go with the U.S.? For Let's go with country? China for the country. And for miles, what do you think? 3,500? I wouldn't go any higher than that. 3,000? Yeah, I what could do we see like? that. 
I will go and check other rooms. I'm still feeling 1500 if I'm being honest, because even in a big place, you don't stretch one highway across the whole thing. There's always geographic issues along the way. There's mountains or something. Right. That's true. So you're thinking like 15, 1600, something. Something like that. Yeah, 1600 sounds good. All right. That gives us 14 to 18. Yeah, 14 to 18. All right. So which, which, yeah, Bob, what were you saying earlier? Which city in India are we going with? I said Lahore, but LA, how do you spell it? Or are you W-H-O. just. W-H-O. Yeah, that's all I'm hearing. L-A-H-O-R. H-O-R? Yeah. A oh, one word? <clears throat> Yeah, never heard of it. It's not French. I've never heard of it. Well, that's good because, like I said, my one factoid is that the Taj Mahal is in the middle of nowhere. So, why would you have heard of the city? And the world's longest river. Are we going with Amazon or are we going with Nile? I am just a guess. I think I've heard both. I thought we had this question before and it was Nile, but I can't remember. But that time it was according to Cisco and Ebert.com. <laughs> <is, yeah. laughs> nice. I'm glad I'll never live that down. It'll stick in your mind forever. So I mean we can take it to a vote. You can you can when you do my eulogy, you'll say according to Cisco and Ebert. <laughs> Susan says Amazon. Kyle, are you leaning more towards Nile? Uh, I'm an Amazon no, guy I myself. Said, oh, said, you're Amazon? I, yeah, I oh, think I stand Nile. alone on that. So maybe okay. we should go with the Nile. <laughs> what, what about Bob? What, Bob? Do, what do you think? Uh, don't do this. Uh, I maybe Nile, I think. I don't know. Amazon? I don't know. Maybe Amazon. It's pretty. They have reasons. Two day like, shipping, man. I think. Thank, yeah. Thanks for being committed. Uh, I was thinking the uh, Amazon probably. is the widest I, river, isn't I, it? I, It's wide. What is? The, I was thinking the Amazon is the widest. Right. But I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, which again, we're not voting for widest. Right. So we're it seems like the, you know, you see these names come up often in these kinds of questions and it seems like you that measure the length widest of the widest and the miles along this. Someone get the globe and get out a tape measure and we'll get to measure <laughs> I swear I'm going to buy a globe and put it on my desk. For I know I keep questions. saying I'm going to put a map here, but then I feel like that in the table of elements would be cheating. <laughs> I've got the moon here, but that's rarely been handy. And it's no, oh, it's that's a pretty it. sweet moon. Yeah. Does it sit in a a little it, stand that keeps it from rolling off your desk or what? Uh, historically, it did until the stand disappeared. Now, the sheer volume of this heavy thing kind of keeps itself in place. Oh, okay. How, how cool. does it? How does the stand disappear? Like you, just somebody just randomly comes in and just uses your stand for something? I sure hope not, but that is one option. I mean, I'm, I'm sure it's in this garage somewhere. Po- put it in their pocket because they wanted it. What could you, be. Could what be, would you but... use a stand for? I don't know. Anything could happen. <laughs> okay, so I think we're done. Vincent, what do you think? What, what's our final answer? Are we going for Nile or are we going I for don't... Amazon? All right. Look at Alice. If you say so. Um, I think I'm going to call people back. So, yeah, go yeah, to the main room. We're ready to go. Go to the main room. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I hope uh, I hope Asia is going to be correct because I worry that they've since retconned uh, Eurasia into an official continent. Oh, okay. How, that might be how new is it? I don't know. Oh, it's he left fine. already. Ben, how is your how's your COVID? Uh, I feel much better, but I haven't taken a test because Carl was texting me because I was joining late. He texted me that you're still testing positive. I I think I'm a little ahead of you, right? What day did you first have your? Uh, Monday last week. Oh, okay. So, so you it's been over a week. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I was Wednesday. I'm my guess would be, and I have a test, I could take it, but I don't know. 
Those things are expensive. <laughs> no, they're wanna... free. They're the California. Well, I need free. to order more free ones, but I used up my free ones. So then you go to Walgreens and they're freaking twenty bucks. Oh no, no, twenty five bucks. In fact, a box. I, I left this here to remind everybody to order some. At least I know California, you can get them for free. I just happened to. I just need to order more. Yeah, so that's my um... that's my goal is to get everybody to order more. Because I wanted to wait because I wanted to take it close to the weekend because if i go if i go see people this weekend i want to make sure that i'm yeah it makes you end up here the things that would take 20 minutes of work to fix go five years without being fixed because it's never high enough priority to uh, yeah 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 even yeah, though yeah. you could crank it out right away no idea what they're talking about. yeah i mean i can see that too the same thing yeah definitely if it's not a critical it's not a really big critical thing but like you said it'd be easy to fix it's an annoyance. It never gets fixed. You're right. Okay, so we're back. Um, I just wanted to do a quick service a, a service to everybody is don't forget that um, if your state gives you free COVID tests, um, California, I know does. I just happened to, this is like my third or fourth time they've given me free tests. I just went to USPS, the US Postal Service, I think. And it said, would you like some free COVID tests? I put my name in there. And about four days later, I got these. This is the new, new style. There's four tests in each. So I got eight. Mm -hmm. So, so just as a reminder to you guys so that the, that is available to you, do not wait until you think you might need them. Just so I, have, them. I have a whole stack of them and half of them have expired because they were different companies. So the first set I um, got. So Rob, the they extended, is, though, they, they extended, extended the, the um, a lot of the tests. Yeah, so I was going to yeah. ask, where do you go to check to see for a certain kind if it's been extended? Um, I ordered some on Amazon and they sent me an email with a link to where you do that. I, um, I spent about 20 minutes between the CDC's site and the manufacturer's site on my test. Um, Most insurance companies will approve you getting them from the pharmacy wherever you go and they're providing them. So you can just go to a pharmacy and get them. Right. Yeah. I think so even right. our grocery store that has a pharmacy will give them to you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have eight. I'd hate to just throw them in the trash if they actually work. No, I think you know. I would. I would keep them because I, you know, how expiration dates work in these things. If you take oh. them and they say you're positive, then you're probably positive. If you take them and they say you're negative, you need to test again. <laughs> yeah, te you know, maybe that's what happened to me. I had to again. test three times before I tested positive. Uh, and speaking of how quick it is, Susan, I just ordered it just now. I'm done. Like from the time it uh, took you to say order some free tests, <laughs> I just did it. It was like you can, you can place up to three separate orders from the federal government. At the post I think office. four. I placed four. Oh, did they I, add I think another I'm one? On my third. I, um, maybe only three. Maybe they sent multiple boxes. Yeah, yeah, I think they so. Were, the anyway, last time my, I ordered, that was my public boxes. service announcement to you guys mm. to make sure right, that you ben, ben, since take you're care there, of that. Put, put it in the chat. Put the link. My I, other I, service uh, announcement yeah. <laughs> is to make sure that you guys get your shingle shot, and I know many of you guys have. Mm. So sure. uh, Vincent and I have been able to pick up uh, at least uh, two uh, five test packages. Uh, for the last couple of months, and before that, I could have actually have asked for eight. So, and and they're all the same uh, test kits. Uh, they all have the same color and everything else. So, well, these uh, are the ones I got today are all are a different kind, but that's okay. I'll take ben. it. Yep. All right, so we're back with our questions. So, Vincent, that was a fun little uh, romp back into my. Um, junior high maybe i don't know <laughs> i think it was a lot harder than we thought because we were second guessing ourselves thinking well yeah isn't that right wait is it the other one <laughs> so it was kind of interesting how we weren't quite sure so what you got for us okay well unfortunately one is wrong faith what are you doing i will <laughs> The question's wrong or the answer is wrong? The answer is wrong. Oh, okay. What? Faith is just, I don't know if you guys can see that. We're recording this. We'll have to go back and replay that. It's a crumble cookie. Yeah, yeah, sure. We can't tell. It's like this maniac person just attacked Romero to eat this thing. And I was like, what the heck is she biting there? That's pretty creepy. I was waiting for Romero to go, ah. 
Okay. Go ahead, Vincent. What you got? Sorry. I got distracted by for eating odd things. Screwed up here. She's like, answer to number one is Wellington. Wellington, fantastic. Yay. And Yay. there are, I guess, sure. I put Antarctica. What? But uh, the Sahara would be also correct. So there's two. Desert. Yeah, desert. Antarctica is. Where it a... doesn't rain. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh, oh. Three. That's a trick question. The, yeah. What is the name of the world's longest river? Of course, it's the Nile. No, we, we went back and forth on that between were a few Nile people Amazon. that said the Amazon, but um, the I answer think, that I got was the Nile. So. I think Nile, from what I remember, Nile is longer. Amazon has more, uh, and, more water. There, oh. there, you will water. find different sources claiming either one is longer. Probably you'll find slightly more that say the Nile is longer. Okay, we'll go with the Nile because that's what we got. Actually, I, I Googled it after we got done, after waiting for the uh, Vincent, and it says Amazon River is 4,345 miles. The Nile is 4,132 miles. But it depends on who's measuring what tributary where. Yeah, what it's they It's a controversial the, question. Yeah. Just, just the Very longest simple. river. That's all. According to Wikipedia, the there's no simple answer. There's not a simple answer. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. And it, a peer review journal says the Nile is longer, so. Well, there you go. Peer we're, review. We're gonna go with the peers. Uh, actually, in the world's five biggest deserts, uh, Sahara is, is only the third. It's the first right. is Antarctica, and the second is the Arctic desert. Hmm. So what's and number one? There. North Pole, South Antarctic, Pole, North Pole. Antarctic, and then Arctic, Arctic. and then Sahara. Antarctic. So okay. the answer is Antarctica? No, the, number two. Well, I'm guessing. It depends on the definition of desert, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if what is I'm the guessing answer that Vincent not. is looking for? How Who's about there? the area, the largest area, the largest desert would be Antarctica by okay. area? But if you, it depends upon your definition of desert. There's plenty yeah, of but, water. But if you look it up, that I, is part of the de definition. Yeah, yeah. I'm looking up an article, which is a science article. Is Antarctica a desert? And they explain why it is. It has to do with how much rain or lack of rain. Okay, so the answer where you're looking, the Vincent is looking for. He's I'm correct. Telling my inner Karen. Antarctica. And yeah. I mean Karen in the nicest Antarctica. way. Okay. So ah! like that, only Antarctica is the answer then? Yes. Only Antarctica. Uh, only Antarctica. Before we said. Okay. Sahara is also Sahara answer. a correct answer. But that's but that's not even the second. That's not even close to second. It's it's about four third actually. Okay, so okay. Number just, three. You know, Rob's arguing against his own team. Uh, I am. Uh, yeah. Number three is the Nile. Uh huh. Uh, number four is Agra. Uh -huh. Never heard of it before. Uh, Agra. That's why I was going to give a hint on number four. No, right? right. No. It says no, no. Some of us knew. No it. hint would have gotten me to <laughs> that. Do it. Yeah. What was the hint? The hint would have been the uh, seer in the Lord of or um, the Dark Crystal. <laughs> that would have got me there. Well. Oh, yeah, like that that would have Ogre. Ogre. Wouldn't want to her give away so easily. Someone might have taken points away. Vincent, her team. name is Ogra. O G R A. Ogra. Oh well. Ogre. Yeah, I was close. <laughs> the smallest. Then I would have guessed Shrek. Yeah. <laughs> Princess Fiona. No, you won't because you have me on my on team. So <laughs> my son just adopted a dog and they named him Ludo. Oh. Bag of so this is the smallest country in the world is actually Vatican City. It is. Oh. Hey, we got that. By area. Vatican. What'd you do? What'd you do for the largest continent? Um, we haven't got there yet. Oh yeah. Oh, number five. Yeah, we, we did. did. Asia, we did. We passed it. Continent. Asia. It's Asia. Yay. By area. Pretty good band too. And then, but yeah, and then by area, Vatican City, the smallest, uh, the or the the largest. Uh, sorry, number five. 
to the lar uh, continent is Asia, the largest, and number six, the smallest country in the world by area is Vatican City. Number seven, which American state is the largest by area? It is Alaska. Okay. Uh, um, uh, number eight, what is the name of the thin and long country that spans more than half of the western coast of South, Amer South America? That would be Chile. Okay. And which two countries share the longest international border? That would be the U.S. and Canada. Okay. I don't understand why people said China and Russia. Because it just didn't feel like it, it was... used to be uh, China and the Soviet Union. Soviet Union, Union yep. yeah. Oh, okay. When the Soviet Union existed. Oh, that makes sense now. <laughs> Which yeah, maybe again someday. Yeah. Should have went with Kyle. Yeah, yeah we should have gone with Kyle. If Putin has his way, it may be again someday. So Canada yeah. has the longest road. Which country has the longest highway in the world? So... Uh, no, I, I had never. Where, where did you get that info? Yeah. Does that go coast to coast? Coast to coast. I'm, yeah. I'm looking at several sources that say the Panamanian Pan American Highway is the longest in the world. That but it's not that. in one country. one country. Well, yeah, but one uh, country which has the longest. Which country yeah, has the longest that has to be in highway? One country. In the you, world? No, you. That's how we read it. That's the question. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we read it. Multiple countries the country. have the longest highway in the world. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, are you uh, a politician when you're on your day off, off there, well. Carl? Highway one in Australia is longer. The, is the well, longest I'm... driving thing that you can do goes up through Alaska and and up into yeah, that's Russia. the Pan American Highway. Yeah, but this goes through like. But Canada if you want to go single point. country, then you're talking Australia and China both beat the Trans-Canadian Highway. How long is Australia's? Nine thousand yeah, uh, miles. Highway one in Australia is nine thousand miles. Yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. Oh, so then ten is wrong. Then. <sighs> well, yeah. if you're saying which only one country, you want the a, 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 a highway entirely inside Australia the is a continent. Those are countries. Country. 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 <laughs> You should know that since you're doing the geography category. China is a country too, yeah, but I didn't, I, when I looked it up, it said Canada. So, so the lesson for everyone doing categories is you have to look at multiple sources. Can we all get a point? <laughs> Unless Vincent is questioning yeah, the sovereignty of Australia. Yeah, we, sounds like it. <laughs> we put China for ours. Yeah. Well, the correct answer is Australia. So if you didn't put if that, what single entirely in a single country, it's Australia. And okay. Nine I would like to. I would like to have um a free point, please. You know, pay pay my uh point that away. <laughs> no, I don't want to cheat and take a free point. That's we not got what it Biden gave away. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I don't know. I'll I'll. Refer. The answer is Australia. How many miles is it? And if anybody got it, they get a point. That's yeah. what you do. Yeah, but Australia is not a country. It's a it is a country. It is a country. Is a country. Vincent, please, please stop saying that. <laughs> yeah, it's the Dominion of Australia. Richard, Richard Saunders would slap you if he's not here. Australia is the only country that is Air Force and a Navy and everything. All right. Well, when I looked it up, it said Canada, but okay. Whatever. How many miles is it? Somebody tell me. Somebody said like, 9,000. Like 9,000. Uh, does it go around and around? I don't... It's like a spiral. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the navigates. The, yeah. Okay, uh, hey, so we need the, we need the miles. So it's the, a loop it, route. The bonus? It's a, it, yeah, it's it has route. to avoid all the killer creatures there. <laughs> That would take yeah. a lot. Rock bears everywhere, yeah. It's, it's actually an elevated highway. Yeah, 9,000 miles is the length. Is that all it? 9,000 yeah. exactly? So That's what two one. different sources say. I haven't That's had time crazy. to look at more sources. That's crazy. So we just wait Navi America. for this? <laughs> sure. So the Pan American Highway is a length of 30,000 30, miles. So highway it crosses a number of countries. Australia. 14 countries. Total length, 9,009 ,009 miles. 9,009? 9 Really? Nine, well, that nine matters. That yeah. nine, yeah, that last nine matters. Plus or minus, yeah. Uh, 
Trans-Siberian Highway, total length 6,800 miles. Mm. Oh, wow. I love that it's just called Highway 1 Number in Australia. <laughs> they don't need others. Or Trans-Canada Highway, total length 4,860 miles. Well, if it had been that, we'd have got it. <laughs> and the Golden Quadrilateral, total length 3,633 miles. So it goes ah. one. Okay. An American Highway 2, Highway 1, but I said country, so I said Canada, so, but yeah, Australia, it's classified as a country, then I was wrong. Yeah, it's a new thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think they have like a prime minister or something. Something like that. <laughs> All right, let's do points. We all learned something. At least I know I did. Oh, so, I did. How yes, long is so. that one? It's longer than the diameter of the planet. <laughs> what? <laughs> it is. I told That's you the spiral. The di no, you mean, you, you no, no. So no. Wait a it's a loop. It never it's ends. It's a loop that goes around it. It's infinite. <laughs> it's an infinite The diameter is a straight line from edge to edge, though. Circumference is significantly like yeah. 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 Circumference the, is like it goes back three times like the diameter. This. Hi. But the diameter Hi. it's is eight thousand something. So it's longer than the so than... I'm gonna do a very Canadian thing and say I apologize. Sorry. 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 Okay, so <laughs> let's start with he may look at looks, act and sound like an idiot, but don't let that fool you. He is an idiot. Eight. Mm. Seeking forgiveness from the government for the first 10 wrong answers? Uh, eight. Trump only shops at Trader Joe's? Uh, that's seven. <laughs> oh. Biden hood. He robs because Canada of the Amazon. students. Eight. The moose, three moose cutters. Four. Oh, oh. Four. Four. <laughs> Oh my god, that feels so bad now. Oh, we got five, right? Oh no, we did get four, you're right. No, because we 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 took away the, the desert, the, the desert that should have sand but doesn't. So they need to reclassify the definition of desert. We were gonna go with a, a, des a dessert. <laughs> I'd much rather have a dessert. That was fun. But yeah. Good, good the definition of a desert is a place with little or no rain that has a harsh environment where little life and vegetation is. Yeah, that's, that's it. That's, 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 that's Antarctica to a T. That's yeah, that's, that's All right. We, so, except for the bazillions of penguins. Yeah, there are bazillions of penguins yeah. there. <laughs> or, or as uh, Benedict Cumberbatch says, penguin. Penguins. Penguin. No, I'm, I'm my favorite animal. Okay, we are up with Cindy. So, remember, okay. everybody practice your niceness okay. Okay. all just like Karen. and and the golden rule uh get multiple sources for your answers yep. uh, yeah and and who reviewed your questions adrian adrian so uh, if anybody has any we know who issues, to blame go to adrian <laughs> okay um i did need help with how to post them on to zoom so you're just going to copy them? What do you have them on right now? I have them on a file. Is it a Word document or something? Yeah. Okay, just copy and then hit, uh, paste them into chat. Okay. But make sure you hit enter after, just like one after the other. So go for it. What's the category? And numbers are tricky. Okay, yeah, category is a pop song covers. Pop song covers. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so mute us and don't forget to unmute yourself, Cindy. All right, uh, one, two, three, muting. Whenever you're ready, Cindy. Okay, well, I'm still trying to figure out this. I could just do a general paste. Yes, copy, paste. Put your cursor in the chat and do command V and you should be good. Okay. I've been having problems with this computer all day, so. We all learned how to use Zoom and all this together. Yeah. But 120 
to games. Yeah. If you highlight the text in your file that you want. Well, I know how to I know how to do that. I yes, just, that's control the C. The computer is given problems with oh. um, actually doing the cut and paste. I mean, the copy and paste correctly. Okay, we got. Yeah, that's why I said I just do control C. Right. Zoom, yeah. Copy control V for paste. And do one at a time because sometimes um, Zoom has issues with character limits. Okay. Oh, look at Ron's got a kitty on the beach. Hello, kitty on the beach. She gonna go swimming? He's gonna go swimming? You're muted, Ron. I don't think that Leo's going to go. Soon. All right. So the first one, uh, cover band, the tiger lilies, sing a song about dying by the gallows. So name either the original recording artist or band or the song title. So whichever one you think is correct. Go ahead and paste it in. And that way we can kind of read it. With well, you. it isn't. Oh, well, I think I have to finish that. So let me hit enter. A hint, enter. Okay, just a minute. Okay. Just a minute. <laughs> Okay. All right, there's there's first question. Oh, very good. Oh, and don't forget to put the number in there. Well, this I'm using the Microsoft 365 mm -hmm. and it's it's stupid program. <laughs> uh, um, if you before you paste, you could type the number in the chat and then paste. Yeah, that's what I figure I get to next. But yeah, yeah. that'll work. Good suggestion, Deborah. But it's You get it, Cindy? Well, I I can't get back to the screen. The computer won't let me get back to my screen. Okay. May I make a suggestion? Okay. We, we, I, I, the, we could switch the order and give you some time because we're going to take a break after this one. 
and okay. we can make whoever is supposed to be number three, number two, and make you number three. And that way during the break, you could you could get get help with either putting it on yourself or no, is the computer's else. not no the computer's just not acting correctly tonight. Can okay, you, the second can you question. email me the uh, uh the questions and I can just paste them in. Or the second question email you the questions? Yeah, you, if you want to send me the document, I'll just take it and just paste them in for you. Yeah, because my screens are getting shut and I can't Yeah, go ahead, just send it to me. So okay. Wait a minute. Uh, Let me yeah. get a piano tape down your email address. In the meanwhile, while she's doing that, we could still take Gail's suggestion and just do somebody else now. Okay, that's fine. Let's do that. So that's what Cindy, Cindy's, I'm going to put her, Peggy, trade places, Peggy and Cindy. Okay. That's Peggy. All. You ready, Peggy? Wait, she just put the second one in. But no, it only went part of it. Peggy. I'm ready. All right. So Peggy. Almost. <laughs> so Cindy, go ahead. And it's my my email is my first and last name you see on the screen, Susan Gerbeck. At Yahoo or gmail.com. And I promise I won't, uh, I'll look at, I won't really look at them until it's my turn. So we don't have it unfavorable. Peggy, what you got for your uh, category? Tonight, we're going to do the Beatles. Am I going to need to be um, muting the, the recording at any point? I am not playing their music. Thank you. Even though oh. I love the music, but it Sorry. always gives me a copyright issue. We We can play some later when we're not being, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can. Okay, number one is, in what year was the film A Hard Day's Night first released? Number two is, oh, I didn't put it in. Okay. There you go. 1.1? One one. Number no, no. two, no, oh, no. because... I typed in the one and then it came mm. with the thing. So so no no plus or minus. I'm get it exactly. Yeah, I think it's yeah. It, it's I thought about a plus or minus, but it would be like a year and then everybody would get it. So um okay, number two, the role of the chief cult priest Clang in the film Help was played by what rumply British actor? Did it, did it, where are we here? Number three. three. George wants to add to the Beatles mania. Um, which Beatle was the youngest, number three? I wonder if it's George. That's why he said, that's why George decided he wanted to play. Yeah, he may know things. Or he may not. <laughs> He's too young to be that smart. Number four, also about George. George's first wife left him and later married what other famous rock star? Janet Jackson. Number five, according to Money Inc., what is the highest selling Beatle album ever that was released while we were still together? All right, we stopped making noise. Um, number six, what fictional literary character was Mark David Chapman obsessed with when he killed John Lennon? Susan? 
So this one is wordy. Apologies. In a retrospective comment, um, I can't even read it now. You guys can read it. That's question seven. Uh, I don't know why the one came in, but it is seven. In a retrospective comment made in 2001 regarding his membership in the Celebrity Drinking <laughs> Club. I don't need to read it. You okay. guys can read it, right? Unless you have a question about it because of how it's, but anyway, the quote well, is. The, yeah, the only thing is the people who, you know, the millions of people who watch this on YouTube uh, can't see the chat, so. Yeah, you know, the those oh, are fans. You are fans, I'm sorry, the millions. And when okay, I have Alzheimer's exactly. and I need to listen to this again, you know. And they can't see the chat. In a retrospective comment made in 2001 regarding his membership in a drinking club, the Hollywood Vampires, which Beatles said about himself and the other non beatle club member musicians, we weren't musicians dabbling in drugs and alcohol. Now we were junkies dabbling in music. How sad. You got clean. All right, copy, paste here. Thank you, George, for shutting the hell up. Number seven, some eight. fan is eight. Oh, I don't know what happened to my numbering. I apologize for that. See, Cindy, this is hard. Some fans played me Beatles music backwards looking for clues about what debunked rumor. All right, here we go. And this is nine, but labeled eight. What song did John Lennon get co-writer credit for with David Bowie that became Bowie's first US and Canadian number one hit? And number 10, which looks like number nine, number nine. Number nine, what is the name of the evil music-hating bad guys in the yellow submarine? So that should be 10 questions. One of them got numbered wrong. Something disappeared from my Word document somehow. It happens. And that I got, your, I got it. It opens up fine, Cindy. Oh, OK, great. So round three, we'll do yours. All right. So um, everybody so ready? Number nine is actually 10. Right. Which yeah. Is, OK, got it. There's 10 questions there. Fantastic. Here we go. Send this away. Have fun, guys. I'm going to be humming these. They'll probably give you a copyright if I do that. Okay, is everybody in the rooms they're supposed to be in? Or is it? Oh, yeah. Look, everybody's going to the rooms. Okay. So we're, I'm going to room three. Is Peggy here? Peggy is not here. She am, was, but she I am left. Your guide. Oh, oh, I thought she can come and just give us, give us all the. She wasn't <laughs> here to help. <laughs> oh darn! Darn! How, how are you guys on Beatles? Hmm. Uh, my my wife. I, I'm going to be running back and forth. My wife, I think, knows most of these. Sarah, oh, are cool. you a Beatles fan? I, uh, you know, uh, I could I could do the music stuff, but all the all this stuff, nah. Dates well, and stuff. See. We can figure it Some out days. amongst ourselves. What year was the Hard Day Tonight? Uh, that was one, I'm sure I know that was 64. 64. 64. Say, great guess. Okay. I was saying 65 or 66, but you're probably okay, right there. The role of What's the chief cult yeah. priest Clang in the film help us play what Rumpley. This is that guy Rumpley of the, he played, there was a show called Rumple of the Ballet, Ballet, Ballet Rumple of the, you know what I'm talking about. There was a TV show, a British show. He played Rumple of the, yeah, what was his name, though? Let me yell at Mark and see if he knows. Who, who was Rumpel? <laughs> All right. I don't know. Can we come back to that one? Yeah, unless Mark knows it. The youngest? Was that Ringo? Oh, he was I the last one. Was he was, he, you think it was Harrison? Maybe. I, yeah, I think he was the youngest one, because... 
Ringo joined last, but I think yeah. George Harrison was the youngest. Okay. Really? That's I nice. thought he was the youngest. All right. I remember the day, um, my, my, when we were young, my sister, in the middle of the night, my sister would start screaming up Mark's, in her bedroom. Mark says screaming. it's Leo McKern. Oh, oh good. Leo McKern. He was in The Prisoner, too, right? Well, That's no wonder answer. you know about it. He was the, uh, well, Mark knew it. I didn't know it. Um, That's good. So three is George? George? It is George? Yeah, I think Ringo was the oldest one. Yeah, I think Ringo was the established one. I think he was older. Really? Uh, okay, he was so already George? a session musician. Huh, okay. Yeah, I believe that's true. Okay, so his first who wife, oh, Mark definitely knows this one. Do you guys know who it is? No. Mark was telling me this whole Eric Clapton. You know, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say it was oh. Clapton. I don't know why, but I thought it was Clapton too. He was. Oh, uh, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, so number five. Number five. They, they yeah. have. They actually had similar guitar styles. Interesting. <laughs> They're weeping guitars. That's that's why uh, she liked them, maybe. She liked. She liked to be strummed. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Uh, right. Okay. So made what about wine, the highest uh, selling Beatle album? Was that the White Album? I, I I know that that was the highest by volume. I don't know if that was the highest grossing. I have no idea. It had more than one disc in it, right? So uh, it double four, uh, four. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. I that's one of the ones I didn't get. I thought it was Sgt. Pepper, but if 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 you think it was the White, white Album, it, the White was after. So you think that the popularity would be higher, wouldn't it? Possibly. Possibly. Sarah? Maybe. And it probably cost more if it had more records. Oh, uh, well, yeah. That's, that's yeah. true. Yeah. Sure. Okay. What was album. album? What album? Oh, yeah. I don't know as so who was um, Chapman? Oh, I know this one. It's uh, Kitchen and the Rye Guy. Holden. Yeah, Holden Caulfield. That was his last uh. Yeah, all the serial killers for some reason love Holden Caulfield, and I could not stand the catcher in the rye. <laughs> well, good, you're not mm. a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> My kids can't stand it either. I, didn't I think like I think when I read it, I'm like, what am I reading here? Yeah, it was like this guy's just an annoying jerk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> uh, see. So which Beatles said? Um... I never heard this. This oh, is kind of cute. Junkies dabbling in music. That was Ringo Starr. I was going to say it had to have been Ringo. He's the comedian yeah, of the like, group. He, yeah. He he like shaved his head and did all kinds of stuff. And mm. Yeah. Had to be. Okay. I see that. I did not know. Um, and no, was, is, um, Paul was dead. Oh, no. Paul was dead. Yeah, Paul was dead. We, we did it backwards. Yeah, I think everyone did. No, I didn't. I didn't try, but I heard people were doing I was that. Young. I didn't want to wreck my record. And then the whole, you know, the walruses Paul thing. That yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. You know, and then when they were walking across you the know, street, we thought we'd never see anything as weird as what we're seeing right now. But uh, I mean, then back then, think mm -hmm. about what we are thing. now with our crew QAnons and people. There's people in tunnels, and we're just talking about conspiracy theories. Uh, yeah, dead and walruses and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. You know it's actually pretty brilliant. I bet it sold a lot more albums. Yeah. Okay. So this David Bowie song was um, I I think was it Fame. Mm, fame. That's that's what I thought. I don't know. Because I I know John Lennon had a writing credit on Fame. I just don't know if that's the right yeah. one. Well, that was a pretty popular that, song. Uh, Did David Bowie do Fame? Yeah. Yeah, one of the only ones I Fame. know by him because I didn't ever buy any of his music. Fame. I'm thinking of the movie. Fame, 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 fame. Oh, oh, I can picture it now. Yeah. Thank you, Deborah. Gosh, <laughs> it's right there in my head now. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the name of the evil music hating bad guys. Um, oh, shoot. I know. I can picture them even. I, yeah. Um, the meanies, the genie meanies or meanie. Oh. I never saw this movie, but it was something like that, wasn't it? The 
Meanies or mini meanies? Meanies sounds good. Um, meanie, that sounds familiar. Oh, is it? Was it the blue meanies? Blue meanies? Were they blue? Okay. I blue meanies? Okay. I think it's the blue meanies. Yeah. You want to go with that? Sure. Okay. Yeah. It sounds Let me ask Mark. <laughs> yeah, he might know that one too. Let huh? me just ask if he's. Oh. <sighs> I haven't seen that movie in years. Right? It was pretty good too. I mean, you go back and look at stuff like that and you go, you know, they were they were creative and good. They were creative. Yeah. Blue Meanies, he says. Blue okay. Meanies. Oh yeah. Nice. This is just for the, the David Bowie said. Um what about I thought it was fashion. Fashion. You know the, the song Fashion? I, 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 that's my wife. You know the song Fashion? Fashion. No fashion. I'll, I'll ask my wife about number, which one is number nine, about the John Lennon song. Okay. So like Sarah said, there's not, okay. you don't know a lot about Beatles, this kind of intricate stuff, but when you get together with a group of people, you play off each other for some reason. One person yeah, remembers something, the other one says, wait, oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. You say something and it triggers the memory. Yeah. It's like Mimi's. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's how yeah. it works. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll ask my wife about that one. Just okay. Oh. The Blue Meanies. I've never seen Yellow Submarine. I think I've seen like no, really? little bits of it or something. And of course, I, I know the song, but I don't think I've ever seen any of the movies. Oh my God, that was a snail. Oh, that looked creepy. You oh didn't my God, that looked really creepy. You didn't oh, see, you, you never saw Help or Hard Day's Night? I've seen bits of it. What was, was that uh, other movie? Um, I was born in '62, so that was yeah. They were you were too my young, sister's probably. generation, you know. Yeah, not yeah. not my. But I do know a lot of Beatles stuff, but not because. Oh, there was that know, other like movie that, said, that they I don't had, know all they, the intricacies of. There, there was that other movie that they had something to do with, but it was, it, it wasn't. They didn't sing the songs in it. It's that one that, um, if you want it, here it is. You want in it. it. Here it is. It. Come and get yeah. it. Uh, but that was a different yeah, group. Really they really want it, or we're going something like that. Yeah, I think they wrote it, or they had something to do with that movie. Oh was, my goodness! They were throwing dollar bills or into the sewer thing. I remember that. <laughs> dollar bills. Okay. Oh. Well, Cindy's document opened up just fine, so I'll be okay. Good. We'll be able to do that just fine for her. She's getting professional help. You know, it is a frustrating thing is people uh, using Zoom. Well, tell me. We so, you know, I'll ask them, I'll say, have you used Zoom before? And then you say, have you used breakout rooms before? And some are like, oh, no, not really. Like, no. Okay, just follow. <laughs> we were talking yeah, at work to putting today. putting something in the computer, the, it's not as easy for every person. No, we were trying to, at work, we were trying to, because there's like three different ways at least to do, to set up a Zoom meeting. You can use their app. You can, well, you probably, maybe four, because you probably use the phone too. Um, you can go on the website or you can do it through Outlook. And we do it all different ways at work, but it, each way gives you a different oh, interface no. to the other people. And you can't, not all, you can't always tell on some of them, like, well, if it's a recurring meeting, you can't always see like, well, when is it? Well, it's, I see the name of it and we know it's recurring, but is it better if just one person sets up all the meetings? No, no, no. Cause that would be me and I have to do everybody's job and Aww. I don't, I already do enough. Well, Jamie better hurry up and get back. For number nine, if he doesn't get back in the next 10 seconds, um, you want to go fame. with fame or fashion? Fame is, fame. Fame, I think fame is good fame? to me. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I have no, no knowledge. Jamie? Could be, it could be. I didn't know that much. It worked out. All right. Is everybody back? I think so. It looks like it. Maybe. All righty then. Can get PowerPoints. Woo. Oh, there that. you go. Beatles. Ramen's crazy. coming. All right, number, oops, come on, where are you? Number one. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Good job, team. All right.
GTO. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow. Good <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> Susan, uh, did you know this one? I had to ask Mark, but as soon as he oh. said the name, I said, oh, from he was from one of the, um, yes. he was in the prisoner. And number, Rumpel number of the baby. Rump and well, could you, could I you say the answers again, the please? I can't hear them over everybody. Leo McKern. And what was number one? 1964. Thank you. Can you not see the screen, Gail? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's It's up on the screen. Okay, well, I have the I have our answers on my screen, oh, and okay. I have the chat up, and you didn't you're not putting it in the chat. I'm going to put them all in together. Okay, because I'm sharing all the answers on the screen with pictures of beetles and things, which you might. Okay, enjoy. then let me decrease the view on this one, and now I can see it. Okay. Hey, yeah. George. George. Yeah, this was George. Mm -hmm. He's such a okay. baby. Yeah. What was the question? Uh, the youngest mm -hmm. beetle. Oh, okay. And then his ex went off to marry Eric Clapton. Don't they look happy before yeah. they do it later? <laughs> yeah, too bad he's a oh. idiot. Oh, yeah. oh. Sergeant yeah. Pepper. Oh, and see, I, I tried to, to uh, say that, but no. Uh, I thought so. But uh, I, I was outvoted. Me too. <laughs> you sure it wasn't the White Album? <laughs> I, you know the question said according to money inc so i'm sure okay. you might find something that says yeah the white album made more money because it was sold in japan and it sold more whatever mm -hmm. the reason would be but this was okay. this was attributed and that's what they said the biggest album selling album is and there's one that was released like called one recently that is some kind of retrospective that's like album. a greatest hits album though yeah and that was sold as much but it wasn't released while they were around um, Holden Caulfield uh, from Catch Me and Rye. Oh my that gosh! Familiar. All right. So we needed the actual character, not the name of the book. Yeah, right? it had to be the character. Sorry. Uh, Ringo was the drinker. Mm. Oh. Got clean. Also, I, the comedian. Yeah, I think everybody remembered that Paul was yep. dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. A fame. Yay. Yay. Oh, oh, fame. Oh, very good. Uh, I didn't hear that you knew that oh, one. Right. And, and then if you didn't remember the blue oh, meanies. Oh, blue, oh, blue meanies. Oh. I'm colorblind, sorry. Me too. Mine were purple. Uh -oh. well, pur there's purple in there. Purple there's like this too. word. There's wor a word there, B L U E. Damn it. Damn it. Yeah, and they were called <laughs> the blue meanies in the movie. You know, they were just not. Okay, now I have to go get the answers, huh? Can I share I something real purple. quick? No. Wait. <laughs> Not if it's gonna make me have problems with the with the, the YouTube people. It's a six second clip from um, a movie. No. Oh, I'm gonna pause no. it. Okay, pause it. I used Orlando. to have that on my front page. I'm on my I, I wonder why Kevin likes that. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right. So good questions. I hadn't really thought about this. I before. almost named my son Rod. Oh. Uh -huh. Sarah says, I don't know all the details of this kind of stuff, but Sarah got almost all of it. <laughs> anyway, just say scores. So the three moose cutters. Do you want to put the answers in the chat? Oh, there they are. Thank you. Here we go. Patty Boyd Harrison. Yep. Oh. Three moose cutters. Sharing a screen, Susan. Hmm? Oh, Sharing. you can share. Yes. It's just so weird. Sharing is good. Okay, the three moose cutters. Hold on, counting. We have our rules where I have oh, to. Oh, I got first. eight, I think. We missed two. Uh, we missed nine and seven. Didn't we also missed five, which was the song, right? Or no, did we have that? No, that was the album. Oh, we did. Right? Okay. Eight, yeah. Okay, yep. Eight is correct. You're in the lead. Sorry. Don't let it go to your head. Trump only shops at Trader Joe's. <laughs> How many barks was that? <laughs> I, I heard three barks. We got nine. Oh, yeah, wow. should have fought harder for Sergeant Pepper. Yeah, yeah. Well, well done, team. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was Peggy's team. Just saying there. Okay, yeah. so Biden Hood. Seven. Hmm. 
All right, seeking forgiveness. Seven. Whoa. And he is an idiot. Six. Whoa, Dang. Trader Joe's is in the lead. Oh, look. Oh, Man, kind of close there. Okay, so we're going to take our pitcher. Great, great team names tonight, you guys. Yeah. Oh, there's Robin. How did you get here? Hi. I, I'm sorry I'm late. I just had to swim. I just was feeling like really yucky. And the only antidote for feeling really yucky is exercise, and I had to do it. So I went swimming. I'm eating chips. Drives a prescription. I will Jamie. Hi, Jamie and Caspian. Is my okay. does my camera have to stay off? She's gone. I don't know no, what you, happened. No, go ahead, put it down here. They won't let me. Really? I'm gonna make you a co-host. Let's see if that makes it. Okay, now try it. And I have a guest dog tonight. Oh, oh my baby. This is my well, let me this is my nephew my dog. On. Terry has a dog. You have ghosts. You have a, you have this a is a guest dog. Bobby this should be cross. Okay. Frosty the guest okay, dog. Bob, that's really odd. Let me see. Oh, there you are. Okay, so Bob's yeah. here. Okay, here we go. Everybody smile. I thought I was Ellie. Ellie, the dog's here. Name. And the camera. Three. What's the dog's name? <laughs> he, has a, he has a very silly name. His name is Howley Boy. Howley Boy. Howley Boy. Howley Boy. My niece's Hawaiian boyfriend named him that. Oh, Holly. Holly. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Trying to get him to look Howdy. at the camera. Okay, go for it, you guys. Five minutes, and then we're going to come back. Okay, and, good and night, I'll, you guys. Good okay. night. Have, have a good night. Oh, good night. Good night. For my team, I'm going to try to stay on for one more. Okay. Make it a quick five minutes. I'll, uh, I'll take the place of whoever left. Okay, well, I think you're going to be on team one. Let me see. Howdy, boy. Yeah, I can only stay on for one more. Um, and that's it. Oh. That video games play. I want to do a commercial. Because if you liked Star Trek and or Star Wars, there was this fantastic television show that just finished its third season. Oh, um, yeah. Services. yeah. It's called, uh, it's, it's um, called Orville. And it is absolutely fantastic. I found out about it when um, George Rod talked about it on the on his podcast. And I watched it. The beginning is just funny. And it's okay. And it's clearly derivative of Star Trek. But if you keep watching, it gets better and better and better. And the reason for the commercial is I just finished watching the last of season three and it ended like there was nothing hanging. It was like tie it all up with a ribbon and a package. Oh. So I'm afraid they're not gonna do a fourth season. So I'm trying to get enough people to watch it that will have a fan extreme trying to get it, trying to get a fourth season. I like shows that have a final ending. They always make me happy. Can you put the name in the chat? Cause I didn't quite hear you. Orville? It, it's Orville. Orville. And okay. it's, it is, it's clearly, not only clearly based on Star Trek, and there's an awful lot of humor in it that is clearly based on Star Trek or Star Wars, as they throw that in occasionally, but it's very subtle. Um, one example that won't spoil anything is at one point when the captain is giving a pep talk, he ends it by saying, and may the force be with you. And if you know the reference, it's funny. If you don't know the reference, you just let it go, right? Does yeah, anybody Seth's, not know that reference? Seth, Seth That's why I picked it, a, because it doesn't spoil the anything in the be with you in Star Trek? I'm no, sorry? that's like the that's few Star Wars. Star Wars ones they throw in there, but it's mostly based off of Star Trek. Uh, Seth MacFarlane's a really, really big uh, Star Trek fan. So it it, it 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 premiered, uh, I think, coincident with, or maybe it was actually before the the new Star Trek series Discovery, and and you know many Star Trek fans hated Discovery and loved Orville and basically said Orville is is more Star Trek than Discovery. Well, I I even agree with that, and one of the things I love about it 
it's, you, it's the first couple of episodes, you ha they're basically introducing the characters and trying to convince you it's not Star Trek. There are so many things that are similar that I can't tell you the name of the holodeck because mm -hmm. they have one, but they give it a different name, right? So it's not called the holodeck. And that's because you, that will happen with all kinds of things. They're so similar. They do have red alert though. <laughs> I'm sorry? They do have red alert, interestingly. So it's yeah. on Hulu and Disney Plus. It's on Hulu and Disney Plus, yeah. That's how come I could see it. It's because it was on Disney Plus. But it's on also Hulu. on Hulu. Hulu yes, is very yeah. highly recommended. It's Hulu extremely is, good. Uh, and one of the things that makes it very, very good is they did something that the original Star Trek did, which is it's happening in another time in another place. So if you see similarities between things that are happening in the United States right now or in the world right now, it's purely coincidental, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Star Trek Strange New Worlds, have you seen that? Gail? No. So that's the newest Star Trek series. It, it just ended its first season. They actually had a, in the pilot, they visited a civilization which was on the brink of destroying itself. And it was a fantastic series and a fantastic first episode. Uh, probably one of the best treks this has been. Uh, and the, the crew, in order to convince the government of this planet not to continue down the path they are, they show scenes of what happened in 21st century Earth, including the capital insurrection. <laughs> oh, oh. Yep. yeah they one of the things that that orville does a lot is have references to history because it's 400 years in the future and the history all seems to be us in the 20th to 21st century and there are characters and things that in songs and things that you will recognize i mean they'll just well do he does that in family guy all the time he just does reference after reference I mentioned my hometown in, in, in Family Guy a couple of times. He is the creator as well as the star. He's the captain. So if, And I don't particularly like his other stuff. It's okay. But this is just great. Yeah. Well, Star Trek's always at its best. And in this case, the Orville is too, when it's using sci-fi to tell stories about current events. Right. And, like the way and they even do something that I've always thought was not very good about Star Trek. It's the aliens are often alien because they have funny ears or funny things on their forehead. <laughs> but they have some aliens in this that are really alien. I mean, seriously alien. That really are life forms that bear no resemblance to anything that could remotely be human. I know Star Trek did an episode where they tried to explain why they all look very humanoid. But this yeah. one really has characters that are recurring characters. That are nowhere near humanoid. One of my favorite Star Treks was the ones where people had uh, half of their face was black and half of their face was white. Oh yeah, I remember yeah, that. Frank one, yeah, one of the yeah, and the, it was swapped and how they hated the other ones. And I was like, that is just Star Trek was a uh, that just goes to show you how stupid the uh, censors and the execs were because they didn't want Star Trek to tell a story about race, so they instead just painted people half one color, half the other, and there was your episode about race. Yep, I thought it was so clever. It was good conversation. Yep. Oh, it was great. Yeah, that's and the same thing they did. With that, ahead of time. You will love this series because there's all kinds of there's one one planet, and there are members from that planet who are on this ship. The, the um, this is about a ship, just like it would be in Star Trek, um, and all of the all of the inhabitants are male. Sure. So if a female is born, oh my goodness! And of course, there's a couple that give birth to the female, and uh, they're both male, of course. And the question becomes: Can we can change the female baby into a male, like the their culture requires, or do we follow what the rest of the crew thinks, which is you don't do that. And it, that's the kind of issue that they deal with. It's so, a way of uh, poking the bear. All right, so we're back. We have had uh, Gail talking about a new show or a third season show called Orville that she's highly recommending. So there will be a report back on that. Kyle, are you back? There's Kyle. I am indeed. Tell us what's going on. Hey, I hear you have a podcast called The Data Skeptic. It's been going on for 
gosh, years and years. So maybe you might want to tell us what's going on with it. Well, this week, what's going on is I talked to a researcher, first show of hands or something. How many of you guys have these uh, smart speakers like the Amazon Echo? Not too many, oh, a couple in this crowd. So uh, this researcher wanted to know, is Amazon listening to the actions you use and taking that data to change your advertising? So they built a little experiment and showed that indeed there is some leakage there. When you use the different Echo Dot actions and stuff like that, it will impact what you see at your desktop computer in terms of advertising. Oh, man. I'm Damn. Shocked. shocked and appalled. <laughs> shocked. I am shocked gambling in Casablanca yeah. <laughs> so I ruined the uh, punchline but if you want to know the details that's this week on data skeptic thank you thank you very much Wait, the, the, the Siri do that that's what I want to know because I only have Siri listening to me they did their work on Alexa Siri will be next oh scary I have Google. Google okay that. so what else do we have coming up anybody got anything I'm I've just posted all of the videos for the Eugene skeptic camp they're all on the website for Oregonians for Science and Reason, which is, I think we're calling it or O for SR. O for SR. SR. And uh, they're, the talks are all up. They're all public. We really appreciate strongly, like maybe somebody will get a bonus point if they subscribe to the O for SR. Uh, YouTube channel and uh, and watch some of the videos. What's the Absolutely link? fantastic talks, you guys. I'm working on an article that I'm going to be sending out. Um, you want to put in the link? That would probably be a good idea. I could do that quickly as I I'm can... talking to you guys. <laughs> I, have it. I think I have it open. I got it here. So oh, okay. uh, as George was just reminding me, thank you, George. Calm down, buddy. I have a recommendation too that besides the uh, COVID test, make sure you guys all order your COVID tests. I just put the link in here. I'm working on an article that will be appearing in Skeptical Inquirer pretty soon with um, uh, about the the toolbox, not the toolbox, the Skeptic Camp that we just did. So I'll, I'll let you know when that's out. I've, I've got it, I'm fussing on it. I just need to keep fussing on it a little bit more and they'll be happy. For those interested in PSYCON, there are over, there's at least 500 people already registered. Just letting you know, that it looks like it's going to be big. Um, Barry says that um, generally anybody he's talked to that's been putting on conferences, numbers are down about 20%. So he's pretty excited because they're not 20% below what they were normal. So he's saying that, you know, we might have some big numbers and he's very excited because he doesn't think we're going to get this kind of lineup, this good of a lineup again, because it's just a superb lineup, which I don't really care about. You know, I'm going to go yeah. anyway, because I'm not there for the speakers. I'm there to see you guys. So but speaking of the lineup, <laughs> I've interviewed 10 of the people so far. He sure and, has. Uh, eight of them have been published. So this is my link to all of the ones that are already up there. And next coming oh, might be tomorrow is Massimo Paladoro. Hello. Is Weird Al going to be there? No. Only in disguise. We won't know he's there. He's there, but you won't know it's him. It'll be so weird. He will look know. a lot like Richard Dawkins. <laughs> <laughs> Is that because you're not paying him? Yeah, well, he's no, but I sure would love to have Weird Al there, but you know, he's a skeptic, obviously. Just look at his, look at Foil, the, um, his video Foil. Well, he's on tour right now. Now, if he was smart enough, he could have had uh, a, a tour stop be at the same time. Mm. Well, has, anyone ever, has anyone ever invited uh, Captain Disillusion to speak? Yes, he's he spoke at Tam, and um, I think Anthony... somebody mute Marvin. He's got admin powers. I don't think he, he's driving. That's Alan. I don't think he. Knows oh, he's probably he's driving. driving. So somebody mute him. Thank you. Yeah, he's a. Uh, um, we would love to have uh, Captain Dissolution, I'm sure. But every time we've asked Captain Dissolution to talk for um, the Barry skeptics or anything like that, he's just too busy. So I think he's just super busy. And when he gives a talk, he does a whole video on yeah, I, I it. Know. Like I've seen some of them. It's I know. It's amazing. He's incredible. So Rob's got all these videos. Make sure you guys check them out. They also are come with a, a skeptical inquire link. So please uh, look and give them your love. 
my uh, recommendation, I have something very strongly, I'm going to strongly um, um, mm -hmm. suggest that you guys should, should do this. How many people here watched or read Project Hail Mary and loved it? Yeah. You loved it, didn't you? Yeah. Not a lot of hands going up here. Mm -hmm. But you guys did love Project Hail Mary. I don't right. recommend things often. But my gosh, you guys, there's um, a one season out for Severance. It is incredible. It's what incredible. is it? What? Severance. It's oh, on Apple TV. I, I don't know what Project Hail Mary is. Oh, that's a book. That's the, it's it's going to be a movie. Did the Martian. It's a book. Incredibly Soon good. to be a major motion picture. Okay. But I do like Severance. I, okay. I'll, All right. There is there. There's two. Anybody else seen Severance? Mm. It's only oh, one yeah. season. Carl, three. Would you highly recommend I like it, Carl? Up and I, I highly recommend it. Ben finally watched it. Is that Apple? After, Apple? after much berating, I finally Apple got TV. time to watch it. Bob, you said you saw it? No, I said I like severance when I get fired from a job. Oh, yeah. this is, is that, incredible. It is that, the prisoner. It is just like the oh, prisoner. No, oh, no, 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 don't, don't, don't say that because you'll turn people off. But it is. <laughs> All right. For somebody who knows a prisoner inside and out, this is like it. A, but no, no. Okay, the, forget I said that. The Rob. prisoner combined with the office. Yes, I would agree with that. <laughs> I can go with that. Okay, it was incredible. It's only got one season. You can binge it so far. in a day so or so. Far. Yeah, but it is, and I mm. just got Apple TV just for the week so I can watch it, and then I'm going to cancel it because there's. I tried Ted Lasso. That sucks. Oh, you didn't watch, oh, Ted oh, Lasso? Oh, watch for all mankind. Yeah, for all mankind is excellent on Apple. Yeah, TV. Apple I, TV is worth it. Apple TV is worth it. Keep it a right. bit longer. You can also access um, well. If you have other streaming services, you can access them. Apple TV does have a lot of good shows on. Does it? I haven't. I went through and I was looking at their lineup. Okay. And I, um, I didn't see. M. Night Shalahan has a series on called Servant. Um, I don't remember seeing that one. Who's it? No, it's, well, it's been on for like at least three or four years for already. Mankind, a really amazing alternative history. It's not time travel. It's alternative history. No. Mm -hmm. I saw that. Cindy strongly recommending Apple TV. I went through some of the stuff and I said, oh, this is really good. No, no, everything is good, but you will find some pretty good TV shows. Okay. I mean, so, just so, to get a few good TV shows really is worth it because a, a lot of them are crap. So, <laughs> so, so on behalf of the last category, I have to mention, since we just mentioned Project Hail Mary, uh, Robin, Project yes. Hail Mary, the dedication says to John, Paul, Ringo, and George. Just so you huh. know. Okay. It is definitely okay. So Project Hail Mary, highly. Where's recommended. Where's Robin been? We've only been talking about Project Hail Mary like forever. <laughs> I know we not giving any spoilers. It's getting really close to. But since I have no idea what it is, I book. probably just wasn't paying close attention because yeah. when, when you talk about something I've never heard of, I'm like, oh. book on yeah. tape. Highly, highly, highly recommended in this group. We've and if you've seen or much. read The Martian, it's the same author, and that was a great. That was a great book and not a great Not connected movie. to each other at all, but they're both wonderful. Anyway, Severance. Okay. Uh, let's hope some people watch it next week. Severance. 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 That's good. It's, it's, from, um, it's from Ben Stiller. Ooh. It's, you saw it, Cindy? Yeah, Severance. It's in this season. Yeah. So the next season, I don't know when it's going to start. Uh, good comedy series bad sisters from england oh i saw that advertised but i didn't i oh I thought... watch it. it it's great okay <laughs> well maybe i'll try it's, that the thing you want is good acting and a lot of tv shows don't have good acting and nor do they have good writing well seven um, has amazing writing yeah it Actors, does the people they've chosen for the parts right. are really good the premise yeah. is amazing anyway okay so coming back from a break, let's go to Cindy's category. So here we go. Um, Cindy sent me the link to her thing. So I'm going to put that in the, I'll put it in the chat. Mm. I pull up the. Oh, wait, one more thing. Gail, I just, go, I was Googling the Orville and, and yeah, it is apparently it's still a 50, 50 shot about whether there's going to be another season and you may have noticed it, but the fi the finale was named uh, future unknown. 
I did notice that. And that's Mm. one of the things that motivated me. I did not know they were considering it. So we have to tell everybody we know that might Mm. want to watch it because I'm sure that's what's going to decide it. Yeah, that's what they're basically saying. They don't have to do anything because they tied up every issue. Mm-hmm. And then called they then called the future unknown, and I didn't understand that until I thought that that might be their. Round up the minions. Okay, mm-hmm. so here we go. I'm going to have Cindy read off of the questions, and I will put them in the chat. So the category is pop song covers. So, so let's go back, and who's going to mute us? And somebody unmute Cindy. Oh, Kevin's even wrote a re- review. Question one. Here we go. Cindy. Okay. Cover band, the Tiger Lilies, sang a song about dying by the gallows. Name either the original recording artist band or song title. And when I call things cover band or cover artist, it's just so that you know that's the one who did this, who covered the song, even though they may have a lot of their own original stuff. So cover and the second one is cover band at the cover band until the ribbon breaks. Sing a song about spying on and following the object of a romantic obsession and one day meeting that person. Name either the original recording artist band or song title. Number three, cover artist Johnny Cash. Sing a song about letting you down and wearing a crown on his very last album. What is the title of that song? Question number four. Cover band Soft Sale had a hit with this song about bad love. Who originally recorded this song? Question five. Cover artist Johnny Cash sang a song about reaching out and touching faith. Name either the original recording artist, band, or song title. So is Faith a woman? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I said is Faith oh. a song title. <laughs> uh, Not but, funny, Susan. I don't <laughs> like that joke. Okay. Never, never. I'm, I'm sure you've never heard anything like that before. Okay. okay. I know this song because of that, so. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so number six, cover band Smash Mouth, sang a song about fairy tale love. So name either the original recording artist band or song title. Number seven, original recording artist Betty Hutton recorded the song in 1951 about it being so peaceful and quiet until a mad emotion takes over. Name the singer who covered it on her or his 1995 album. Number eight, the band Brave Combo recorded a rock and roll version of this children's dance song about body parts, listening well, and following directions. What is the title of this song? Number nine, what song did singer Sarah Bareilles, and I think think that's how you pronounce her name, cover that is about penthouses, saying goodbye, plowing, and drinking a couple of vodka and tonics. Number 10, name either the 1898 song or its first singer that was covered by Tiny Tim on his 1996 album, Girl, about the joys girls find most entrancing as opposed to what joys the boys find most entrancing. And then the bonus question, in the 2011 season of an American horror TV show, a David Bowie song was covered in one of the episodes broadcasted. Name either the song or TV show or actor who sang it. Very good. 
Very good. So that worked out well. So what people might not know who haven't really done this before is and, and this happens to be all the time. No, oh. what it, what you guys don't realize sometimes is when you're working off a document and you copy from your document and you go to paste it into your the chat, chat has already disappeared. So you have to go back and find chat again, and then you paste it in, and then you have to go find your word document. <laughs> So these happen to people, and if you have one screen, it can be very frustrating because things keep disappearing on you. So I have multiple screens so I can deal with it, but I can see it just disappearing on me each time I have to keep Do you mean multiple it. monitors? Screens, monitors, yeah, whatever. Is that wrong? Well, you, you, can you know what just, you mean, Susan. You, you can, can have do a alt, big, alt, yeah. alt tab and go from window to window. Or you can have um, a really big monitor and just put them on both of them on their side. Anyway, by side. it gets just letting you know it can get a little hairy if you're just dealing with one screen or using like yeah. Try laptop. try all tab next time. I'm well, using, no, my screen's froze up on this. Oh, okay. Laptop. Yeah, that's the other problem. No, doing, sounds like a good I have to take it in and find out why I can't. You know. Um, like close time. any of my screens here oh, and that is another problem is zoom can eat up a lot on some people's computers too. cindy i have a question about the bonus are you sure you have the correct year for that season of american horror i i know that's the correct season i i don't know that you mean that the name of the show is it's not the american horror it's not right. the title it's of the 18. show right it what you you have to figure that out you have can either yeah, say but, what the title of the tv show is what song was covered and what or what actor sang the song i just want to confirm that you didn't put the title of the tv show in the question though no you didn't mean that right no okay okay, okay so great questions looks like it's good we're ready to go and if anybody else needs this kind of help in the future where you think that you're going to have problems copying and pasting them all over just email them to me and i'll take care of it whenever just like we did right now it worked out perfectly all right so Let's go to our, our groups and uh, let's debate. So send us over, Peggy. And I will add, apparently, Al, our Marvin is Alan and Robin's here. So let me pick your teams you're going to be on. So Robin's going to go to one. And... Marvin is going to go to five. Susan, okay, I ended so up in the wrong room. I don't know how, because I came back to the main room, but I didn't leave from my own room. So now I have, have to go back uh, to You have co-host permissions. You can go wherever you feel like. Oh, you're right. I can't. You are in charge. But I'm so dependent upon you to help me out when I pay. I can fling you if you want. No, so no, Cindy, no. I got it. Thank you. Are you comfortable going from room to room? You've got special permissions, Cindy. You can go in and out of all the rooms you want. Yeah, I was just looking at it. Um, so I can go to any room, but will I keep getting the screen back about which rooms I can join? It, you just keep hitting the breakout room, and okay. it'll say join another one. Here comes Deborah for some reason got thrown out. And you can go back and forth as much as you want. Where would I find that control break, join breakout room? Um, it's the, at the very bottom of your screen, it's got four little solid things together to make the cube. It says, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I see it now. And if, okay. Yeah, All right. Let me know if you have problems. Can you okay. send me over my zoom? You are quit. In three, my, right? I think so. My zoom quits when it goes between rooms now, sometimes, not every time, but sometimes. Oh, that's weird. Okay. It's a, well, you're in here twice now. It says Deborah working twice. Right. One of these needs a close. Well, that's weird. Hi, team. Who originally wrote Tainted Love? No, it's already oh, over. Cool. She hit the wrong thing. Hold on, leave break a room. How do I do rid of this? I don't know. I think she hit the wrong thing. She's the first time using these. Okay. okay. How, do you, how do you cancel this? I don't know, but who wrote Tainted Love? Tainted Love. Sometimes I've got to bop, bop, get away. Who wrote it originally? Well, it's soft soap, but I don't know who did it originally. 
no, no that's not the Scott original Bell had a hit with this song about bad love who originally recorded it i wouldn't know was it david bowie put it down but i don't think it is okay. i don't know who it is i, I didn't i pasted the questions but i didn't actually look at them okay okay and we're gonna have to come back right now hold on okay never shown her how to use the controls and i think it's the first time she probably hit closed breakout rooms instead of going into a breakout room what are we gonna go back all right yeah, so what, let's go over the answers we're what ready. the heck was that all about <laughs> we're pretty sure we got an eight okay so so no so some just send this back i'm sure that we just we open the room page. At probably we actually we won't do any better than if we just take the scores yeah. now. <laughs> the question is back. Okay, do we do you guys know number five? Okay. Are you we, writing the answers down? Yes, I am. Good. Oh well, you know this one, so why do I have to know it? It's personal Jesus by Depeche Mode. Thank you. I didn't know that. Did we already know the other four? No, you guys must know number six, right? It's easy. Uh, what's number six? I'm trying to remember it. What is it? It's uh, um um. It's the song from uh, the Monkees. It was written by Neil Diamond, but it's um. Can you sing part of it? I remember how it goes. It's a monkey song. What's the monkey song? Big hit. Hey, hey, we're the monkeys. That's all. No, no, that was the theme song. Song. Right. I know which okay, love song. So, which one are we on? Number six. Number six. Number the monkey. Oh, this the is monkey? the Shrek song, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, and I'm trying to remember what. What it is it? What is it? Because all I got is "Hey, now you're an all star." No, you that's know, that's it, that's, that's the. I know the stem, but it's that's I that's can't. The other that. song, it's the um. I'm a believer. I'm a, I'm a believer. I saw her I face. Believe if I try. There we go. I saw her face. I'm a believer. It was written by uh, Neil, Neil Diamond. Neil Diamond, but it's it's uh, recorded by the Monkees. Okay, I'm a believer. That's exactly right. Number seven, original recording artist Betty Hutton recorded the song in 1951 about it being so peaceful and quiet until a mad emotion takes over. Name the singer who covered it on his or her 1995 album. I want to say, I don't think Bjork has ever covered a song. So okay. Bjork has a song called It's So Quiet. You fall in love. Like she whispers and talks about how everything. It's so quiet. What question? Number seven. I would, let's guess Bjork. Can't be though, it's somebody in 1995. Bjork is from 1995. Yeah, but. It's Oh So Quiet is the only song that can come to my mind. Because it's talking about how everything is nice and peaceful until you follow it, fall in love. Fall in love. But it might not be. What's the song about falling in love? I don't know. There's okay. like a ton of them. Oh, Karen's here. Okay. She can join what me. is... A rock and roll version of a children's dance song about body parts, listening well and following. I, I think that's the Hokey Pokey. Oh. oh, there we go. I can't think of anything else. Oh, I see. Right, right arm in, but right yeah. arm out. All right, Sarah Bareilles. I know your. I, I know the answer to this one, but you guys, yeah, yeah. it's an Elton John song. Gonna take a couple of vodka and tonics to get me on my feet again. You know you can't hold me forever and sign up for you. I'm not a prison for all your friends to open. What's yeah. the name of the song? Goodbye Yellow Brick Road. Okay. Good. Oh, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road? Yeah. Which one's that one? Seven, number nine. eight, nine? Number nine. Okay, and number 10. 
name either the 1890, 1898 song or its first singer that was covered by Tiny Tim on the 1996 album Girl about the joys girls find most entrancing as opposed to what joys the boys find so entrancing. When I hear Tiny Tim, all I think of is Tip Throw to the Tulips, but that tip can't throw be to it. The tulip. Didn't he do um, That was way before Tiny 19. Box Houses on the Hillside, Tiny Boxes. Made of ticky tacky, and they tacky. all. Is that Tiny same. Tim also? No, that's a woman who sings it. Tiny Tim did his in the 70s, though, so Tiny I don't balls. understand. No, that's Don Ho. Um, Tiny Tim was. Put it the guy who did out? Tip Toe Through the Tulips. In the 70s, and he got married on the Tonight Show. Would it be Weird Al? He did lots of covers. Well, never mind. He did parodies. About the joys of girls find most entertaining, entrance, entrancing, as opposed to what the joys of boys find most entrancing. I know what boys like. No, I it's an old 19, 1898 song. It's an old, old song. So maybe it's something like Yankee Doodle, Dan Yankee Doodle Dandy or something like that. It's an old, oh, old song. Tiny Tim sing like that. I don't know if you guys remember. But what girls and boys find intense and trancing in that song? Stick a feather in your hat and call it macaroni. Oh, macaroni. Oh, okay. You want to do Yankee Doodle? That's the only thing I have that came to mind because it's an old song from 1898. Okay. It is an old song. Yankee Doodle. Winter time. Okay. The bonus. The only thing that comes to my mind is the TV show American Horror Story where they covered Life on Mars by David Bowie. Well, then that's got to be it. It's not it because it did not come out in 2011. And she says it's not the title. And the title American Horror Story. It's American No, it's Horror American Horror TV. It doesn't say American it doesn't say story. No, in she that. didn't put that she wants either the yeah. name of the song, the TV show, or the actor who sang it. So it can't be American Horror Story. Oh, because that's not a singer uh, name of a person. Well, because American Horror TV Show, American Horror Story is in the title. So you can't use that. And 2011, this season did not come out. Hush cap. Um, do we know any? Did you guys know the first few? That's when I was. Um, another step. We guessed the hangman for number one. Every Breath You Take for number two. Hurt. Number four, we guess David Bowie. <laughs> then Depeche Mode, I'm a believer. I've got Bjork down for number seven. We can change that. Yeah, I think that's got to be it. Because that's, I mean, it's, if it's something else, we don't know what it is. So it's a yeah. good guess. What horror TV shows were they besides American Horror Story? in 2011 could that be like Dexter or something I don't no know. that's not really horror yeah it is horror I mean he's murdering people yeah but that's not um, horror have you seen it it's very have good. you ever watched the Dexter yeah, it's, not it's very good it's not really horror Mike, it's when I have my whole, when we were remodeling our house, we had plastic all over the walls. Okay, we'll name some other that. horror TV like, shows besides American Horror Story. Mm. Scary Things, Ghosts. Um, what about that show? Like the, There's like a little guy that comes out from uh, Crypt. The Crypt Keeper? Tales from the Crypt. That was older than that. Okay. What about Walking Dead? What about X Files? X Files, Walking Dead. Walking Dead is horror because of zombies. Yeah. Was Walking Dead out in 2011? Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and it, would they do something about zombies in Bowie? Um. We just have to come up with a TV show.
I think that's a good enough one. Because if she tries to say American Horror Story, I will challenge her. <laughs> but that was that came out in a um, freak show, and freak show did not come out until much later. So I will say. The Walking Dead. I have no clue. Some of the other shows. Well, no, American Horror know. Story covered life on Mars. Um, and I forget the her, her name and her face is there. Jessica, I think. Well, why can't that be the answer? American Horror because, Story. Because it wasn't 2011. It was like why 2015. Not? Because it came out, it did not come out in 2011. And if one of the options is name the TV show, American Horror Story is not going to be <laughs> the story since American But it says Horror American Horror TV. TV. It doesn't say American Horror Show. Right. But it didn't come out. It, I ran a marathon in 2016, and the current season at that time was Roanoke. Could it have been? Did Roanoke come out? Is everybody almost done, Cindy? American Horror Story could be the answer. Can't really tell. Do you think they need a lot more time? There, some groups are getting um, a lot of the answers, and some are still kind of struggling. And what was the what was the song you said it was it, in that show? The ones it's that are Life struggling on Mars. Like they need more Life time. Mars. They're kind of done. And Elsa Mars is the character that sings it. Okay, I'll give it a couple more minutes then. But I'm trying to. Roanoke came. It could be freak show because if he does one. No, it's it's show. it's what you're saying it is, but you 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 miss getting the the year. That's all. Two thousand and eleven was only eleven years ago. Eleven years ago, back in the old days. Yeah, it wasn't like a lifetime ago. All right, let's go with American Horror Story. It's been on for years. I know it's been on for years and I'm looking forward to the next season, even though the last season was crap. <laughs> Do we need an answer for anything else? Um, no. I hope we're right on 10. I'm just guessing, but I can't think of anything else. That number 10, yeah. It does, I don't know if it makes sense. Maybe. Stuck a feather in his hat and called it. Because I know it's okay. kind of like about a like kind of like a, a flamboyant guy, you know. He, he was he, something. Else. Let me go ask Mark. I'm a Yankee Doodle Dandy. What's that? Like just children's songs? Oh boy. They're Probably. Children's songs? No, they're just asking for a song that girls, the song talks about the joys that girls and boys both find most enticing. The Yankee Doodle doesn't talk about it. I don't know. The song by boys and girls find enticing? No, this, it's not the song that boys and girls find enticing. The song talks about what boys and girls find enticing. Mm. So girls like da da da, boys like da da. Girls, girls just want to have fun. That's not a 19. 
I hated that movie, by the way. That was a movie. Girls want to have fun. I hate, I could not watch it. Okay, Mark says it's probably tiptoe yeah. through the tulips. No, that's 1970s. That wasn't right, a, that wasn't the song. Right, they're old. But it, but it's an 1898 song that was written and in the tiny, 70s. And Tiny Tim covered it in 96. And Tiny Tim wrote that oh, the song in the was 70s maybe for a time, the other one. It can't yes. be tiptoe through the tulips. Oh. Wait, maybe the 1898 song. What about the Star Fucking Spangle Banner? Tiny Tim like was not around in 1996. Yes, he was. 96? He had, he had an album. He had albums and shit like that. Tiny yeah, he was, Tim? Tiny Tim got famous in the early 70s, but he'd still been around for years after that. Before really? He died. Yes. Mm -hmm. my, one of my friends knows him. Said he's a wicked nice you guy. Know everybody, Carl. I know somebody who knows somebody. For That's Kevin what it is. See the guy in the background there? He had a hit with the Beatles before the Beatles did. I met him about two, three weeks ago. That's Billy J. Kramer. He had his hit with Do You Want to Know a Secret a year before the Beatles did. He had the very first John Lennon, Paul McCartney hit. All right. Well, Mark says that was what my review was on his concert. And I had photos that went with it. And the guy who published it, took him down because he didn't like my attitude. I don't like your attitude. His attitude's okay. I know, I'm just being funny. No, what happened was I spelled a couple words wrong and he posted my review before he, he didn't really edit it. Didn't do an editorial job on it. And I said, you gotta change it. You got the wrong guy, wrong photo. So he started deleting the photos. And I said, you, I spell bass, B-A-S-E. It's supposed to be B-A-S-S. -S. It's a music thing. At least correct that. He got mad at me and said, you know what? Go do your own thing. I'm just posting it the way it is. And he took all my pictures off. So I'm done doing anything with him anymore. He's a jerk. I had posted pictures and he had the, the wrong people's names underneath them. And I said, how am I supposed to show this to my friends if you can't get the, the guy's name right? <laughs> hmm. So do we have an answer for everything? Yes. I, I think Yankee Doodle Dandy is probably wrong, but I don't know what the hell it is. The Spangled Banner could be it too, but it's not really written went then what, what were you saying kevin before susan really interrupted us star, star spangled banner could be it too but i don't know how that fits though was it really written way back then i don't know what it was written. no yeah. 1898 oh wait it could have been a lot of you think you think they wrote our national anthem well over 100 years after we obtained our freedom yeah because it wasn't the national anthem for immediately it wasn't it was a poem written after he saw a battle, but I don't know when it was. It might have been 1860s. It might have been before the Civil War. I don't know. I don't remember. I know it's old, but I don't see how it fits either, though, and Yankee Doodle doesn't fit. I don't know what the Thanks, joy Cindy. Was. All I can hear is tiptoe through the tulips in my brain now. And that's I know that's not right. <laughs> It's I, a, I at least Yankee Doodle mentions a boy. The Star yeah, that's the only banner thing. does not mention. Yeah, so that's a uh, guess, uh, but I think it's still wrong. But it's it. fine, hi, to listen in on the room, huh, Cindy, as you go and listen to what people are talking about yeah. themselves out of. Yeah, I have a question for you, Susan. Um, does this automatically time the rooms, or how do you no, do that? I, I'm gonna. Uh, you think everybody's pretty much done? I know some groups are. Okay, I'm just going to call it then. All right, so give a two minute warning or a one minute warning. Or I'm not giving a yeah. warning. We're done. 
So <laughs> you get one warning and we used it up already. <laughs> you used it up. Sorry, so, no freebie. Cindy, do you know how to close the rooms? You, I think you did. Before. I think I actually closed you guys' rooms. I think so. So mistake go earlier. to the main room. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> she <That> did. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, man, you guys are going to be like sharp as tacks when this, when you guys, anybody's going to ask you about Zoom, you're like, I got Zoom. I can open breakout rooms, mute everybody. Can, can, let me ask you, can I, could I run my own trivia or do I have to own a copy of Zoom to do this? You like, need to have like a license. That's what I mean. You have some kind of a license to do this, you're right? saying Susan? you want to do this? No, no. If I wanted to run my own. You just pay the, Zoom. you just pay the, um the fee for the professional version. Yeah, but I don't have it at all is what I'm saying. So I'd have to do that. You'd have to, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. the non-paid version of Zoom has a- You'd have to start every 45 time. minutes. Oh, okay. Yeah, because so I, I, I know I use yours when I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. It's your account. Here, I couldn't yeah. do it on my own. It's like $15 a month. Uh, there's coupons. I, yeah, I, but I, I don't, coupons it's something I don't I, want I to do. I think it's 12 or something a month. Oh, actually, I bought a year at a once, and I think I'm getting it for like ten dollars a month or something. And I'm not paying for it. My yeah, that's what I'm thinking. If if I was going to use it a lot, I would. There's I hear Al driving. There's a lot of music that we hear on the radio that were written by like a lot of them were written early on by black and recorded by black artists that you never hear, you never heard them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You, you, the, or you rarely would hear them. You would hear the the the, co the cover later on version by a the hound dog and all the Elvis stuff. Just say any, any early Elvis. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome, Alan. Welcome, Karen. Okay. Something that's like Alan. That's, that's of Marvin all Fox. Like Bob Dylan. Okay, Cindy. So Cindy, yes. I'm gonna mute you, Marvin. Marvin. Um, this is father-in-law. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyway, great questions, Cindy. That was fun. We had a lot of fun discussing them, and a couple songs are stuck on my head. The and I asked you in the break. I asked you in the breakout room, but now I get to ask you in front of everybody. So, what did you think of being able to go from room to room and listen to people? I thought that that was a uh, it was kind of fun. You kind of hear the way they um, thought, the thought process, process. Yeah. they go through. That's one of my and favorite of parts guys, doing that. Some, yeah. And some of the guys just like I thought what happened, just got them right away. Yeah, just got the know. answers. That's because there are some people on this in this group that are, you know, really know their pop culture stuff. I'm gonna try to share a screen. I think one of my screens that's stuck, that's frozen, that actually has all the answers on it. I might be able to share that screen. Okay, I'm going we'll to try to bring that up. Email it to me again. Okay. Probably email it to her so you can put it in the chat. Now, if I can get it. Yeah. Okay. Can everybody see this social trivia answers? Yeah, yeah. Ben, okay, so, you want to write it in the chat or something? You're always small. so good at that. Gonna, can you make it bigger? Those usually the, the, the three... Dots is that big enough? Keep going. Can you see that? Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I can get it yeah. in the chat. No, you're doing good. But but I have the answers are simple, and then I just put some additional information um, about the song or the band. Okay. So on number one, this answer could either be the song title of Twenty Five Minutes to Go, and the original recording offer. Ooh. Artists that could be the other answer is Shell Silverstein, and it's from his 1962 album Inside Folk Songs. I don't remember what the question was. Oh, it's uh, the Tiger Lilies. Yeah, Tiger Lilies. I've never heard of Tiger Lilies. Yeah, they're, they're um, they're not a radio band. They're like Fish, the P H I S H band where they actually uh, mainly do stage shows and sell CDs. They don't release anything to the radio. And they've been around since the early 90s. And they're I'm putting, in English. I'm putting the answers in the chat. Okay. 
Answer to number two, the cover band Until the Ribbon Breaks. That's also an English band. And the um, song, the title of the song is um, One Way or Another by, and the band that did it first was Blondie. Oh. So either, either answer. Oh. So obvious day, now. Yeah, it's like, I'm oh yeah, sure. It's a stalking song. I'm going to get you. When Blondie yeah, sings Yeah, I thought it, it's it was not, the police. I thought it yeah. was every breath you so take. When Blondie sings it, it's really bubblegum. Yeah, like we did the same pop. thing, Kevin. I remember now. When, until the Reverend Breaks does it, you understand it's a stalking, a stalking song. And actually, mm. the TV show Stalker has that as her theme song by, and they use the cover by Until the Reverend Breaks. Oh, interesting. Nice. I never yeah. heard that. I never thought And of that. actually, uh, the song is based on a stalker that Deborah Harry had. And actually, because of the stalker, she moved for, to a different state. <laughs> So, um, I got that from Wikipedia. Uh, number three, what song did Johnny Cash cover about letting you down and wearing a crown? Song title was Hurt. I got that one. And, and the original, and the extra information is that it was originally recorded by the band <coughs> Nine Inch Nails. Oh. Mm. And they're a heavy metal band. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was recorded by Cat on his 2002 album, American Four, The Man Comes Around. That was released in 2003. And Johnny Cash passed away in September 2003. So that's one of the very last albums oh, interesting. recorded. But he also did a video of the cover. The video is kind of haunting. Yeah, it is because he's very weak. He's very frail. And it's so obvious that he's singing about the harm his addiction has caused to his family life and relationships. Mm. And basically it's a junkie song. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the original, okay, on number four, um, the soft cell, popular in the 1980s, they had a hit with Tainted Love. And I mm. thought that was, a, I thought they were the original recording band. But actually, it was Gloria Jones who recorded it in 1964. And then an English producer got her to record it again in 1976. But neither of those recordings was a hit. It didn't become a hit until Soft Cell recorded it. It's a great song. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I've heard it. I just don't, didn't know the band. Yeah. Yeah. You probably have, because that was a top 40 song. Yeah, yeah. Um, the biggest one hit wonders of all time. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah, I don't think they had any other hits. Oh, break your teeth. What? <laughs> <laughs> Janine, what? Man. She beats herself really quickly. Ooh, I was what? saying something to John. I didn't <laughs> break his teeth. That <laughs> makes it worse. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh my gosh. You feel he better now. You just violence in her. Corn kernels. Yes, Your I Honor, I did actually hear her say those words. <laughs> that the Johnny Depp, record Johnny Depp flashbacks. <laughs> yeah, oh, we need to come up there. What? Five. Okay, so the question about um, number five. So Johnny Cash sang a song about reaching out and touching faith. Um, the original recording artist or recording band was Depeche Mode. Or the song title, Personal Jesus, either one is correct. All right, there you go. And uh, Cash recorded it as a gospel song, but the writer composer Martin, Gull, Martin Gore of Depeche Mode didn't attend it as a gospel song. And in fact, he had read a, biogra a biography or, um, by Priscilla Presley about Evels Presley and their marriage. And he was inspired by the excessive admiration Priscilla had for her famous husband, Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> he thought it was over the top. And then, um, oh. so 
He just wrote the song and expanded on the idea by uh, concluding that anyone can serve as a personal or godlike role model to someone who is in love with them. And the refrain, Reach Out and Touch Faith, is a parody of an old slogan, advertising slogan by AT&T. Oh, yeah. Reach out and touch the one trying to get you to make those long distance calls. Because this is like around 1990 before we had cell phones. So I had to pay for long distance. <clears throat> Number six, cover band Smash Mouth, sing a song about fairy tale love. Well, that's I'm a believer. Mm -hmm. Or another correct answer, cover oh, band. Of, the um, monkeys. Original recording artist with the monkeys. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, and mm -hmm. just extra information is that. The song was actually written by Neil Diamond, ah. who sold it to the TV show, The Monkees. But they allowed him to record it himself. So he recorded his version in 1967. The Monkees recorded theirs in 1966. <laughs> the number seven, an, the original recording artist, Betty Hutton. Recorded this song in 1951. The song is called It's Oh So Quiet. And the recording artist is Bjork, or however you pronounce her name. It's the one from Iceland. And uh, you can see a couple of videos she did of the song. <clears throat> and also you could hear Betty Hutton's recording of the song on YouTube. And they're very similar. Of course, number eight, I heard a room get this correct. Um, Brave Combo did a rock and roll version of the Hokey Pokey. <laughs> That's pretty fun to listen to. <laughs> number well, nine. We, we, we considered the Hokey Pokey and then rejected it. <laughs> you turned yourself about. You put your right foot in. Yeah. <laughs> we went through several children's songs, Heads, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes, and yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, and so then, that was our guest, head and shoulders, knees and toes. Yes. Yes. Okay. Number nine, the song that singer Sarah Barella oh, right. covered was Yet yeah, Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road. Oh wow. And remember oh. that was done by originally done by Elton John. <laughs> and number 10. Um the title of the song, Sly Cigarette. Oh. <laughs> and the original singer, Miss S.H. Dudley, who did it for the vaudeville show, Runaway Girl. Did anybody get that one right? <laughs> and, and that information is in um, the album that Tiny Tid did, did, in which before he sings the song, he introduces it by saying, yeah, it was recorded in 1898 by Miss S.H.W. and he also does it good. <laughs> so. so, see, for that one, we put uh, Roger Ebert's Lighthouse Serenade as sung by Punch and Judy. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. I recommend that album, girl, because mm. um, Tiny Tank would actually sing. A real thing? <laughs> he can actually sing. And um, he does a lot of covers, so he does pretty well. He does at least two Beatle covers because Girl is a Beatle song. He does Hey Jude. He does Led Zeppelin's Stairway to Heaven. Okay, and the bonus question. So uh, the song covered with Life on Mars. The TV show is actually called American Horror Story. Or, and the actor who sang that song was Jessica Lange. Well done, Sarah. And <laughs> all right. It was the fourth season. It I heard um Faith talk about Roanoke. Roanoke came after this show. I know and that's how I remembered it came out earlier. Yeah, yeah it is uh, from the freak show. It's their season titled Freak Show. If he called it American Horror Stories, plural, yeah, you are wrong. Okay, sorry, I didn't know you were it right. has to be singular. Okay. And they're both streaming on um, Hulu. But American Horror Stories, that's 
really pretty crappy, but is the new recent anthology series from the same creators. Very good, Cindy. <clears throat> All right, well, that, thank was, you. that was good, Cindy, because you challenged us really well. Yeah, yeah thank you for there. Okay. I'm going to go to the, stop the share. Where is my scores? You have to stop the sharing. I got it. <clears throat> so here we go. Um, very close together, you guys. Let's see where we went. So the three moose cutters. Five. I kept adding. Mm -hmm. I gave you Karen. Yes, thank you. Because if we wouldn't have had Karen, we would have had even less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think we all we all contributed on that one. It was just we didn't we had some of our answers wrong. Okay. So he's an idiot. Uh, we had four. Okay. Um, seeking forgiveness from the government? Uh, five. <laughs> okay. And Biden hood? Seven. Oh. Yeah. What did we miss? That was Cindy's team. What, what did we miss? You guys know? We, had, we, missed, we, had... we missed one, two, four, and ten. And that was a, and then there was a bonus. We got the bonus though. We we got the bonus, but we got seven. Yeah, All okay. right, that was the team I was on. Not that I helped, but I was on that team. Trader Joe's, five. Oh, better than I thought. Look yeah. at that! Look at that! Woo! Somebody's taking over the lead. That's I I like that. That's exciting. Very cool. good, Cindy. Okay. That was right, thank good. You. You got Carl. You got Carl on that one. <laughs> That's what Adrian said. She said, yeah, "You need to listen Carl. to be your Carl. You would have known that one." <laughs> yeah, Faith got a couple of them that I had no clue what she was talking about. But Kevin yeah. Walker, I, you know, we, Adrian and I agreed he probably would get most of them. I think he. <laughs> I had no clue about two or two or three of them though. You but didn't. Did well. yeah. No. But you got the majority. And Faith, Faith had a couple of them I didn't know, so yeah. it was a good teamwork. I know she knew about American Horror Story. We guessed on Hokey Pokey, and we got it right, but I also guessed Yankee Doodle for that other one. I just had no clue what it was. <laughs> well, we had no idea. Yeah. We would never get that one. <laughs> Thank you but, for yeah. everybody. And I should have got the Blondie one, you leave but it, I had you leave the it instead. Yeah, it's 20 after 10. We're losing Vincent. Yeah. Bye, Bye. But thank you for having me, hey. and good luck, everybody. And Cut your dad jokes, and hey, we're recording. So you can see oh. this later. <laughs> we're recording okay. our farewell. We are recording. And you can watch later. All right, okay. you guys. Hey, wait, Vincent, Vincent, is Vincent still there? Yeah. yeah. What? Vincent, uh, Avi asked me today, because um, I knew I was going to probably miss it. He wanted to know how it went. How did your oh. thing go? Well... We'll let the others explain. Yeah. <laughs> All right. See you okay. okay. Bye, Vincent. Bye-bye. So, uh, Rob Palmer is up. Time travel. Okay. So, yes, I've done a bunch of um, uh, things like that. Now I'm going to switch gears, and, and Leonard is going to be so sorry he missed tonight. This is oh, going no. to be oh, no. the study of switching to reality here instead of fiction. Okay, so uh, I am going to give you descriptions and you're going to give me the name of the study or the science. Number Reality one. is overrated. Muting people? Who's muting people? Number one. Anybody muting people? Okay, number one is the branch of botany that studies fruit. Number two, the branch of entomology concerning the study of bees specifically. Number three is the branch of entomology concerning the study of moths and the three superfamilies of butterflies. Number four, 
the multidisciplinary study of war pertaining to the military, diplomatic, philosophical, social, political, psychological, or economic dimensions of human conflict. Number five, the science and study of wine and winemaking. We've had a lot of wine categories here, so somebody should know that one. Number six, the science and study of woody plants, trees, shrubs, and lianas. I don't even know what that is. Number seven, the science of clouds, which is undertaken in the cloud physics branch of meteorology. Number eight is the study of animal behavior, usually with a focus on behavior under natural conditions and viewing behavior as an evolutionary adaptive trait. Number nine, 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 the study of China, primarily through Chinese philosophy, language, literature, culture, and history. Number 10, the study of footwear, especially historical footwear. Number 11, the study of Mars, especially, I think there's a misspelling there, but you'll get it, it's geology. And number 12, and I'll tell you why there's 12 in a minute, the study of matters related to canines or domestic dogs. So because I have some mercy on you, I am actually going to give you all of the answers. Oh. So, so you just have to match them. Pick 10 of the 12 from the numbered ones and match them with the letters. Oh my gosh. Thank okay. you, Bob. Merry Christmas to us. <laughs> Yay. Gosh. All right, so I, I want the answer in the form of a number and a letter because that's the way I'll, I'll read the answers and only do 10, you know, drop off two that you're not sure about, okay? Got that? Okay, thank you. Go to All your right, rooms. Hey, nice to meet you guys. See if I know any of these. The one that's for I. That's the butterflies, isn't it? Because <coughs> I know Dawkins has that. You guys have Leptolo leptology uh, do you use butterflies. Is yeah, there I, I haven't had a chance to look at the list. Homology is uh, horticulture, the first one, which Fruit, so yeah. homology is. Okay. Yeah. That's the first okay. one. And dendrology is trees. Wasn't there a tree one in there? What do you plants? Are you going out of order? Dendro I'm I'm looking at the She's names. What she knows. That's um um six is e dendrology six let me look at six because yeah, dendrology well study of woody plants trees shrubs dendrology is where they count the rings and stuff oh well, it's got to be the closest match there is well that's why i'm still looking at the Apoology, wasn't there one about bees? Yes. Um. I'm looking at the names and I can't see both at the same time. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah, what I'm yeah. going back and forth. Yeah. Once I get them written down, I can do better. So some of these I've actually studied. <laughs> I had a class on social insects. I had a, I worked in fruit. 
I. Yeah. Right. Okay. Good night, sweetie. Cats have to take their, they have to leave one room and come into my room because my room is the only one that's going to be open now. Okay. I get that. They have, there are rules in this household. We have. JK, pomology we got. Before we had the, the answers, I had pomology and Apology and apology. Mm. Is there something about kidneys? That's it. When I looked at that, <laughs> I was like, "That's gonna be no. It's not spelled right. That would be nephrol. Neph. That's or, right. No. Yeah. Okay. I, that's what I thought when I saw that. I was like, "What?" Okay. One is K. Yes. And two is entomology concerning. Bees is F. F, yes, yes. Okay. And three mods and sexets, um, I. Yep. Okay. Four, multidisciplinary study of war. Yes. Do you that have that is, one? That is D, polymology. The what? D, polymology. Pulmonology. Um, okay. Oh. D. Okay. A hobby of mine. D. Okay. I was like, what? Oh, and D. Five. Okay. That's, five uh, is there. Four. But I thought it was bit. Okay. Five. I don't see what I would expect. And what was the question? Oh. Wine. Oh, wine. Wine making and yeah. wine. I I don't see what I think, expected it to be. I think that <coughs> is C She already said o I. I think for five, it's C-O-O-nology, I think. What letter is that? Letter C. C? C is in Charlie. Okay. Okay. When you say the letter, you run it into the word each time. And so yeah. we're all looking for something right. starting with a C. <laughs> What did you guys say for B? I mean, uh, for number two, the Bs? F. Okay. Seven, I the science know. of clouds, meteorology. We should know that. Uh, um, yeah. That could be the nephro nephrology, nephrology. L? Maybe. Uh huh. It could be. I don't know why I where I made that connection, but um, well, it's still available. Nephology that could make sense. A um, hundred years ago, I was a pilot, so I, I'm not sure where it's coming from. <laughs> a pilot and a nurse. Ooh, I was already a nurse. Wonder if, it, wonder if that has the same root as the biblical nephilim. Huh. I did air transfer, transport. Ah. Um, okay, so seven I, is I as in India, seven? nephology. Seven is? I as in India. Okay. Mm. I thought that's uh, an L. Three, three is an L. Okay, L. Three is I. Oh. Yeah, three is I. Three seven is, is I. what? Seven is L. L. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm a letter. Okay. Thank you. I, I Animal a, behavior. A, that's really weird. Natural conditions. Eight. Um, focus on animal behavior, usually with a focus on behavior under natural conditions, viewing behavior as an adaptive trait. I think that's ethology. Well, is what letter? Yeah, a, I guess alpha. I a tend to alpha think. Ethology. It, yeah, I would <laughs> go with that, but it's a broader definition and then than I thought. nine nine i'm almost positive is uh b bravo sci sinology okay oh, what a, wow i wonder where they get that from well like i know for instance in you talk about history there was a war between the chinese and the soviets and that's the sino-soviet war 
I wonder where you get the sign of. I mean, where where does what where it's does they get to something Asia? that means that somehow yeah. some means or relates to China. You're right on that. Hmm. Yeah. Footwear. Study of foot historical footwear. What do we got left? That's weird. Well, we've got I threw a second H. Cal calciology. Do we have that for anything? Um, no. You're almost done. We're uh, not, not no. Quite. We're getting close. not quite. Three more, I think. Give us a while. Um, what is the timer set for, Susan? One minute or two minutes? One. What was the next one? The next one is and the study of Mars. It's the study, no, the study of footwear. No, she said skip that. She was saying what's the one after that? Oh, maybe the we'll get it from study of Mars, especially its geology. Uh, I'll bet you that's probably areology, as in Aries, the alternate name for oh, the god Mars. Oh, it is in George. Yeah, G, G is in George. Okay, we yep. haven't said yet. So that's possible. So. The and last one is the matters relating to canines or domestic dogs. So what have we got left that we haven't used? Sign C C Y N O Ology. Ology. And C A L C E Ology. And okay. and don't so those are the only two. Well, I thought H was footwear. H? H is footwear. That's what I thought. Works for me. So J and H are the only ones we haven't used. And so J would be C Y N O Sinology. I actually, I could go with that. For dogs? Yeah, I think so. And then that would make H would be for the feet. Shoes, I mean. Yeah. Okay. So we have one is A, them all. two is F, uh -huh. which is apiology. Yep. Three is I. Yep. Lep 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 four, four is D. Yep. Okay. Five is C. As in Charlie, yes. Yes. Yeah. Six is E, dendrology. Okay. Okay. Seven is L. No. Mm -hmm. Yep. Eight is A, ethology. Yep. Nine is B, sinology. Yep. Which makes sense. Ten is H. Uh huh. Kelsey, something. Eleven is G. Uh huh. Arrow, and twelve is J. Sign. Well, you guys sign rock. That's great. Yep, that's what I have down. I would have gotten the butterfly one only because of Richard Dawkins, and that's <laughs> it. Well, it and I wouldn't have been able to pull it out of a hat unless it was sitting there in front of me. Homology, I could get before we even. Homology. <laughs> really good, Rob. This was a good one. I didn't know him, but thank God I was on a team that rocks. They got it. All right. I think it would have been a little harder without the list. So yes, oh, thank oh, you, yeah. Rob. Oh, oh yeah. I think I would have. Yeah. Made I would have got like two, one or two. Have, if I'm lucky. We, we would have had three, I think, on ours if we if we didn't have the list. I, I was really worried about that round up until the end when you're all like, and here's all the answers. I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> without the answers, I would have guessed at one and been wrong. <laughs> I, well i would have guessed it one but i wouldn't have known how to spell it for all right anything. so I, I, went to mo I went to most of the rooms and, and it looked like people were doing reasonably well so all right let's uh I'll, I'll read them off and then i'll put them in the chat all at the end at once so number one the branch of botany that studies fruit is pomology yay and interestingly, if your vision you is say the letters, man. if your, vi your vision is not quite good like mine, the M can be split into an R and an N. And it looks like pornology. Just like yes. <laughs> that has nothing to do with your vision. That always Rob, happens. 
You need to say the latter. Oh, it's K. And, one, yeah. one is K. One K. One is K. Pornology. <laughs> P palmology. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. And we're of, being recorded. <laughs> the branch of entomology concerning the study of bees is F, apiology. Yeah. Also called melatology for some reason. Yeah, you know what a Freudian slip is, Rob. That's what you say one thing when you're thinking of your mother. Uh, <laughs> 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 Number three, the branch of entomology concerning the study of moths and the three super families of butterflies. I did not know there were three super families of butterflies. That is I, lepidopatology. They're okay. They're not that super. No, say it right. Somebody knows it right. Lepidopterology? Lepidop Very good. Lepidopatology. No. It's, Number four. it's uh, Richard Dawkins' special. Uh, oh, that's right, huh? That's right. He, we he, saw him his at costume, the butterfly net. At, at, the, uh, at the costume thing, he was, he was a butterfly uh, catcher. Yeah. Catching and I thought he was dressed up like E.O. Wilson. <laughs> Um, number, that. <laughs> number four the whole thing with war is polemology all right e which is d we mm -hmm. got that one yeah five the science and study of wine and wine making is c oneology enology the o is silent yes, yes. enology yeah number six the science and study of woody plants is e dendrology Seven, the science of clouds is L, nephology. Mm. Eight, animal behavior is A, ethology. Kind of like e huh? ethics, ethology. Ethos. Mm -hmm. Number the nine, the study of China is B, sinology. Ten, the study of footwear. <laughs> I heard somebody say it's a fetish. Is H, <laughs> calciology. Yes. Uh, yeah. L, uh, the study of Mars, and I did hear somebody who got that. It's uh, Aries is one of the names mm -hmm. of Mars, and the other pantheon is G, Areology. And 12, the study of matters related to canines or domestic dogs is J, Sinology. And remember, Yay. you can only right. pick Rock, we got them all. Of those. We got 12. Deborah, yeah. Deborah and I, I, want, I, I, I want my bonus points. <laughs> you don't get bonus points, 10. you only get 10. Deborah and I went yes, to the we world's <laughs> oldest shoes. Oh, yeah. You want me to show? I can show them to you. I have them up. We still yeah. want them. <laughs> yeah, we were under yeah. the impression you could only pick 10 to answer. There's that a world's is, oldest that, show, shoes, you guys. Correct. From Oregon. Okay. They're like 9,000, 10,000 years old. Yeah, mm -hmm. say that again, Rob. You only pick 10, not 12. That is correct. I said that in the beginning twice. You did say that. Okay. Okay. So no one could, even if you got 12 right, you, yeah. You, yes, you Kevin, I know. You had to name the 10 that you thought you had right. Okay, yes, that's what I, yes, I wasn't, got them. I wasn't okay. understanding that. We Scores. Named the 10 we got right. Okay, so we have so far the Biden, oops, here comes Alan. Um, Biden hood, and it was uh, Trader Joe's, and now it's Biden hood mm -hmm. by one. So let's see how we do. Let's start off with uh, three moose cutters. Ten. Hey. Hey. Enjoy the moment. Okay. Um, he I is an idiot. Enjoy. Thank you. Uh, nine. Enjoy every moment. Your moment's over. Ah, oh, you're at a tie. Then let's go to Rob's own group, the Ten. seeking forgiveness, and then we go to Trader Joe's. Ken. Ken, Biden hood. Hold on to nine. Nine. And they hey. didn't hold on to the lead. Ooh. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, this is going to be tight. We have a bonus round. This should be very interesting. Gail's going to see if she can break the tie. We will see. I never know what you two folks know. Are we ready? Well, you should. You've been playing with this for over a year. I know, but I, every time we do it, it's a new category. Once and categories I think people won't know they do and vice versa. So we'll see. Okay. Are we ready now? Episode yep. names for the prisoner, right? Go. Okay. Oh. The topic is classic TV commercials. Uh -oh. Interesting. Okay. And what I'm going to give you is, and I'm, I'll put it up under share, but I'll also put it in the chat. 
These are the, the questions. There are 10 slogans that have been used. And what I want you to do is give me the name of the product, not the company, the product that was being advertised with those sayings or slogans. And the bonus is who wrote, I'm stuck on Band-Aid because Band-Aid stuck on me. Which oh, is, excellent. Everybody knows that one. We want to know who the author of that <clears throat> song was. I just read that today. Oh, no. oh. Like I that. said, I never know what yep. you're going to know. Yep. Well, Kevin's disqualified. It was the in the news. Mm. He's okay. famous for doing three, several of them. Where did my Zoom I hope go? the whole thing will go in one chat. We'll see. Mm, yep. It might. Well, so. Yep, it does. There they are. So come up with the, the 10 names of products. All right, let's go. Um, Ellen is in. Oh, crap. Which room is Ellen in? Oh, he's in five. Okay, that's the room I'm about to get to. Hi team. Well, I know a few I, I know a few of these. Where's Jamie and Caspian? I want to see them. We're here. They don't want to be seen. We haven't seen them yet. Look at look at see right here. Caspian gave me these flowers and they're still right. alive. I I num, number I think I got I a num, day left. Number one. I know number one, number two. Yeah. Well we only do one is Brill Cream. Yeah. Brill cream's I, I I think number two is Chevrolet. Oh, actually, um, who's our official scribe this time here? Because <laughs> this is more of a Maybe the USA in your shop. Yeah. This is more of a like a regular category than a bonus, right? Yeah. I'm trying to figure uh, out how to put these on the. I uh, would number three be Drano. Would that be Drano? Maybe I don't know that one. Maybe the way go troubles down the drain. Is that Roto Rooter? Yeah, I've heard that Roto one. Oh, okay, Roto maybe Rooter. Oh yeah, okay. Somebody writing. I, I'm doing that now. All right. Design for driving pleasure. Okay, I don't so. know that one. Never. never Design for her pleasure. <laughs> well, it could be driving, but uh, it's got to be good and it's got to be sweet. That would be those chocolate uh, Hershey's Kisses. No, I'm thinking the the. I was thinking of the baking chocolate, but I don't know. Baking chocolate is not sweet. No, <laughs> it's not. I've eaten baking chocolate. I know number, oh, I, yeah, yeah, I know. When you're I think you know number six. I think number six would be Wrigley's spearmint gum. Hold maybe. Kiss a little longer. Hold. Uh, longer. Hold kiss a little longer. Yeah. Hold, yeah, yeah, yeah. hold tighter. Hold tight a little longer. Was it? Was it gum? That's, I think that's big red. You think it's what? A gum, but a different one. Oh. Big red, she said. Big Red. Oh, it could be. be. I remember Big Red having. Hold hands a little. Chicklets. I know number seven is Wendy's. Yeah. Yeah. Do you remember and her name? What was Claire, her name? Clara. Though? Clara Beller. That's yeah. uh, uh, Ben Radford will say he. She's one of his first skeptical. You know, she's a big skeptical hero in his. Really. Yeah, he's always talk. He'll talk about her whenever he has to give like his top ten skeptical heroes. Because of the worst, huh. I'm a big kid now. Is yeah. uh, pull ups? Yeah, I'm a big kid now. I'm so, a big kid now. Is it just yeah. pull ups? Is that the the official name? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Uh, can you hear me now? Which which which? Uh, uh, Verizon. I oh, think. Uh, can you hear me now? Can yeah. you hear me now? That was Verizon, and he left for he left for Sprint or something like that. There's a great spoof on that. Thing should watch someday. The it's the guy on the other end of the. Uh, can you hear me now? One. <laughs> it's a Thanks. really funny spoof on it. The big. I will put that in my my YouTube to look at later. 
I'm thinking the bonus. Now, I don't know this, but I'm thinking it must be somebody like Barry Manilow. Well, do we get to Don't Be Evil? No. Because that's that like um, Google. That's Google. Oh. Now, Barry Manilow wrote a jingles before he was famous. That's why I mentioned his name. And the timing is about right on that one, I think. And I know that song, too. I am stuck on Bandit. Bandit, Brandon, Bandit, Bandit stuck on me. Where you go with Barry? Uh, Paul Anka wrote a bunch, too. Oh, really? Oh, thanks for coming up with that at the last minute. Let's see. <laughs> Don't be evil is Google. Yeah, but is it in their commercials? Also, does Google have commercials? Well, they could have at one time. But, but that's their motto. Yeah, or, it may have a commercial. It could be, a, it could be a free in print. Or, it could your be mission statement, I guess it is, don't be evil. So what was a little dabble do you? Real cream. Yeah. Oh, and CDUSA in your Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Okay, that's right. And no, then we, do we, we say the design for driving pleasure? Well, yeah, we don't have four, was five, and six yet. What'd you say? Was it a cigarette? Which one? Four, designed for driving pleasure. And what did you say it was? A cigarette. Driving pleasure? Driving yeah, pleasure? Yeah, well, I think it was an old, it seems like it was an old commercial, to, you know, for when you're out driving, you have your, your uh, Virginia Slim or something like that, you know. I was thinking it's a car commercial, but well, that's, that seems it's like, like it's like would you wouldn't you offer a tip uh, a woman a tipperillo or whatever it is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Dying for drive, unless it's a driving pleasure, it's a golf ball thing. <gasps> Good Ooh. one. Good one. Ooh. But I don't know that to be true because I don't. I don't know what this design for driving title titleist. That sounds like something that maybe for titleist. Go with that. What's We're that? Go with Titleist. All right. Titleist. Is it a golfing company? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's ball. Yeah. It, it, it. Okay. So this is why we are a team. Not mm -hmm. one person always knows these. So things. we can all be wrong yeah. together. Yeah. Somebody comes up with something. Do, do we get them all? No, we still know um, five and six. It's got to be good and it's got to be sweet. That sounds really kind of familiar. Are you guys sure about the Roto Rooter one? It's Roto Rooter. Oh, yes, internationally. Eh. What? We're we <laughs> we're not sure about the um the range of Roto Rooter Rooter commercials. They absolutely use that here. Yeah. Yeah, and. It Away go troubles down the drain. Oh, right. That all right. sounds right. Yeah. All right. Well, that, you, that, can, you, can you did there, if yeah. you know the song. If you know the song, then it's there. Right. Oh, I how are you feeling, commercial. Susan? How are you feeling, Susan? How are you feeling? Okay. Thank you for asking. Yeah. I'm I'm a little uh, like I was standing doing something today, and I felt after a few minutes of standing for a long time, I was like, okay, I need to sit down a minute. <laughs> both you both you guys are all right mm -hmm. so you're getting better yeah 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 my, just, my take just on is if i field. never get tested i'll never get COVID. <laughs> if you test you'll find out you got it huh? yeah i just got well, my I, second I have, booster I so just figure i have so many aches and pains i have cr I chronic cough i have everything i don't how, how the hell do i would i even you will know, know it I, you know, you will know it. I'll, I'll know i'll know when i'm it, sick it kind of hits you kind of like what what yeah. I'll know when they put me in the box, I'll know I'm sick. <laughs> That's right. You'll know it. Trust me. So five and six. Okay. I really think six is a gum, and I think I I think it's Wrigley's. Wrigley's which, which one? Spearmint? Double mint? Oh. I don't know. I I I don't know which one. I think it's it wouldn't really be double mint because they always that's the, the double mint twins. Twins. Yeah, double twins. twins, right? Yeah. So maybe there's spearmint, maybe spearmint. Spearmint is a flavor. I, I Wrigley. Yeah, there's Wrigley spearmint, spearmint, spearmint gum. Wrigley's what about spearmint. Eclipse? That's there is Eclipse gum too. Yeah, but that's newer, right? Yeah, that's true. 
This sounds like an older commercial. It is. I remember kiss a little longer. I, I'm off. I'm off key on it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not getting it for some reason. Maybe it's juicy fruit. Juicy. There's fruit. also juicy fruit. I don't. Juicy fruit so. trident double bubble. Yeah. Trident. Trident. Let me think. Trident's possibility. Now I think Isn't about it. Fit. Did you ever open up a case of Juicy Fruit at the warehouse? Oh, I lived for when dad got the uh, shipments. It was the best smell in the world. My, this my dad, a case my dad of uh, dad. like 48 <laughs> packages of of uh, the stuff. You open it up and you just have the sugar high for hours. Not yet. We still got a couple to go. Okay. Almost there. So which one do we decide on? What do we decide on? Do we decide on Wrigley's Spearmint? I would just say Wrigley's, but well, you'd have to probably have to sp specify. It's the same as you it, with the double mint twins. You'd have to say double mint. So I'm I'm guessing yeah. you have to at okay. least say a, a specific. You don't think it's a toothpaste commercial, then, huh? Oh, no. Or a skin no. cream. Okay. I think well, it's Wrigley's, but but. And I think it's Wrigley Spearmint, but I don't think you would have to say Spearmint because- Why Wrigley don't we ask that. Gail, do you have to be specific about the, if it's a, a, a generic brand, like a brand, or does it would have to be the specific? No, I said it, not a brand, but a name of a product. Uh, okay. okay. I think it have to be, you'd have to say- Yeah, uh, you would need to put the Spearmint in if, if that's correct. Okay, so number five. Five, okay, so what's gotta be good and what's gotta be sweet? If you think well, um, it's it gonna be a rhyme Hers Hershey's bar, it's gotta be good and it's gotta be sweet. It's gotta be. Sweet tarts. Susan, I said that I thought that, that this was very easy. It isn't as easy as I thought. I thought <laughs> people were gonna be coming back and having done all 10. <laughs> I'm funny? really amazed. Why couldn't you have given us the list of the 10 like Rob did? We could just <laughs> no, we match. No problem there. <laughs> no, I, I thought just... this was going to be too easy for that. In fact, oh. I took, I put in a couple of hard ones because I thought you were going to get them all. Well, I'm glad you did. So maybe oh. we'll have some definition. I, won't have a tie. I also don't think we settled on the answer for the bonus yet either. Well, it was either Barry way, Manilow or, or Paul Inc. is the last I heard. Well, that's uh, helpful. Would, uh, good, good and plenty be uh in the running for the uh the number five i don't think i've no good and plenty good and plenty now because that was a good and plenty good and plenty yeah, yeah. yeah I, would say, same thing. I would say hershey bar or sweet tart um i don't know why i like sweet tart for hershey, this but hershey bar i'm sorry what could, it be, could it be like um like the company nesca nes uh nestle or nescafe ne nestle it's got to be good and it's got to be sweet. No, but it's got to no, be a specific product. Nestle product. Yes, you can't. You got the product. We, we, and we, we didn't have sweet. We, we didn't have sweethearts, did we? Sweet tarts. I don't think sweethearts had them when I was a kid. But they didn't have them up in Canada, I don't think. Oh. No. Dad didn't sell them in the warehouse. Smarties. We had Smarties. And even here, Smarties is something. Now different. we had the good Smarties, I'm not the crappy ones the you get here. Okay, Susan. Okay, are we going to go with sweet tarts just because you need something? I think people are almost done. Okay, if you say so, that's... We got to name a bonus person quickly. Um, uh, you, why don't you go with what you guys came up first? Very like the, It's got to be good. It's got to be sweet. Come up with something quick. Do you want I did no, sweet for, tarts. for the bonus? What do you want to just do? Barry Manilow's? Yeah, that's what, you guys came that's up what with I got first. on the list right now. Okay, the sweet one, number five. Sweet tarts, unless I hear something different. I've never heard of Sweet Tarts having a commercial. I haven't either. I, that's a good point. But I've never I heard that. Have you heard that commercial? Have you heard this commercial before? I have, but I just uh, don't. I don't know. I think a chocolate. <clears throat> Hershey bar. Okay, why don't you go for Hershey bar? Hershey bar. It could be wrong. It could be wrong. It's easily that's true. Wrong, they can all I don't be wrong. Think it's sweet Tarts. <laughs> okay, right, now officially job, a Hershey guys. bar. <clears throat> One of these was really tough. Yeah, I'll tell me about we it. We took a guess at one, and I'm not sure. 
Yeah, I, I, I was surprised that, you, that some teams did not do as well as I thought. I purposely put two that were harder in there in order to have everybody not have a 10. And I don't think that was a danger. Like I said, you can't always tell. Okay, are you I, ready we for the We did pretty answer? well. We did pretty well. Yes. Okay. We are ready. A okay. little dabble, do you? I will put them all in the chat afterwards, okay? Okay. A little dabble, do you? Brill cream. Yeah, that's what I was worried about, but I got it. Yes. See the USA in your Chevrolet, Chevrolet. by Dinah Shore. Dinah Shore. Right? Dinah Shore. Yep. 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 Oh, away go trouble down the drain. That's sad that we know these things. Designed for driving pleasure. Oh, yeah. That was a BMW. Oh. 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 I went with a golf ball. So we went with what? Golf ball. Okay. Driving was giving it away. Okay. It's got to be sweet, and it's got to be sweet. Cracker Jack. Yay! Good one, Karen. Sweet Come on, Jane. You knew that. I didn't ever heard that. Kiss a little longer. Hold hands a little longer. Hold tight a little longer. With big red. Yep. Oh, I'm so sorry. Jamie said big red right off, and we said, no, I don't think so. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. oh, terrible. Jamie. Where's the beef? Will you forgive us? Did you get it? I would. Wendy's. Wendy's. Yay. Uh, Gail, the, uh, um, the, the driving pleasure is Volkswagen. It's not BMW. BMW was the ultimate driving machine. Um, Volkswagen is Farfig Nugan. Farfig Nugan means driving pleasure. Well, then but, my source was wrong. Yeah. Yeah, so far from either one, and they got either no, one. No, that's what our team said too. Who was no, that? Designed that... for driving uh, pleasure is the question. Yeah, and that is BMW. The BMW was um, the other well, driving they had machine. They've had multiple slogans. You know, yeah. some of them, like Coke, I had about five to choose from. And, I just and if you look up them. new BMW campaign designed for driving pleasure, yeah. that was BMW. Their, yeah, it's Google. BMW. So the answer Google is BMW, it. not VW. Like yeah. Gail Google, for BMW. Coke, one of their slogans really? was don't have enough kidney stones, drink more Coke. <laughs> 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 okay. Where's the beef with Wendy? I'm a big kid now. Huggies. Mm. Pull-ups. Well, huggies. Huggies. Uh, I thought it was pull-ups. I thought well, it was pull-ups. Pull-ups is the uh... it was pull-ups. It was hug yes. huggies is the brand. Okay. Pull-ups is the name of the the yeah. particular kind. So is pull-ups correct? Well, it's hu it's Huggies pull-ups. If you had Huggies pull-ups, it's correct. Yay. If I just had pull-ups, it doesn't count? Well. No, yeah, but it's the brand know. name. Pull-ups is Huggies trademarked for. by Huggies. You, you yeah, pull-ups is the actual product. product. You're not the company. Can you hear me now? Right. I just need to know, is pull-ups right. correct? I didn't say Huggies, no, I said pull-ups. because it's not, a, it's not a brand name. Gotcha. We, we okay. said Huggies also. I mean, we said pull-ups also. Mm -hmm. so drunk. Uh, no, no points. Just give yourself a point. Can you hear me oh. now with Verizon? Okay. And don't yeah. be evil with another one I thought was a hard one. It's Google. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, you were right. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Was it it's Carl that Carl. just said give yourself a point? <laughs> Yeah. Is that how it's done, Carl? <laughs> no wonder we're always getting <laughs> that's, points. That's how he wins all the time. I think Carl. we just got that on, on uh, video. We got the bonus, so we and got the bonus, 10 anyway. I think most of you got Barry Manilow. All right. Yes. yes. We got that. He did the McDonald's thing, and he also did State Farm, like a good we neighbor. We got State nine, Farm. Kevin. Oh, yeah. She said we can't use pull-ups, even though it's... Right. And so we got the bonus. Yeah, but we didn't get number five. That's why you have nine. Oh, that's did right. I'm sorry. It? You're right. You you're right. It? You're right. Okay. I missed it. I thought it was sweet and low. I didn't mark it wrong. All right. I want right. to know yeah. under what context did Google use "Don't be evil." I can't. That was their like, like original motto. But like, how yeah. how does that fit into a commercial that was for? They Google? call it a com they call it a commercial. I, 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 I'm know. just serious. Like, I what was the commercial that said "Don't do, be evil"? I just can't imagine evil. them doing that. It's Don't like a slogan, though. Anybody it's, a it's a slogan, not a commercial. I don't think you're ever I get that, but why would Google say "Don't be evil"? I'm trying to understand the logic. Because they want you to. They want you to think that they're good. They, they want you to believe that that is their method of business of not. Robert, meeting. are you asking why they elected that as the policy? <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. I think Google he's asking it. how did they Google use that in a commercial? Yeah. How was it used in a commercial? Was there like yeah. a Satan or something? Yeah. Or they they did remember. not study the psychology of naming bad things. Which is yeah. probably why we don't know what it is because we haven't heard it very often. I'm gonna have to look that up later. That's look it up on Wikipedia. Know. Apparently, it was part of their code of conduct, and they removed it in 2018. So <laughs> <laughs> about four years after they should have. They are they are no longer bound by that. Yeah. <laughs> if now they, they ever can't were. Be evil. Oh yeah, they removed it in 2018. Mm. And for the, the team that was trying to spell Brillo, no, there's no O in it. I'm, I'm wondering that. how, just like Rob said, I'm wondering how they used it as a like a. Yeah. Okay. Well, we knew about it, so they must have um, gotten the word out there. Like, was so, it a song so or was it a no, what? I think it was just maybe a tagline to their brand. What's like the consensus on pull-ups? Because they have to be huggies. Well, here's the thing, though. There's there's other there's yes, it is trademarked, and here's the thing. There are companies that have different products that the products themselves have individual slogans from each other. The slogan belongs to pull-ups, not to the company <laughs> Huggies. Right. And That's no other diaper Because other Huggies products will have slogans other than I'm a big kid now. Yeah. So I know I no other I diaper can call them pull -ups is the proper That's answer, trademark. not Huggies. I think Gail gets to decide this. It's her category. Well, I, I well, tend to be there's, there's I tend people's to, categories and then there's what's the appropriate yeah. answer. I, I, think so. I tend to think that if you, if it makes sense, it makes sense. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think that that I think that the answer should have been Huggies as opposed to some of the other brands of diapers. However, if you think that that's that's a good answer, count it. Because it's like Coca-Cola uh, has I... multiple soda brands and each one of them will have different slogans, but they're all under the Coca-Cola brands company. So it should and have been. If, if I gave pull you a Coca-Cola slogan, I wouldn't ask you for the particular thing. I would ask you for Coca-Cola. According to the, sides. Um, the advertiser is Kimberly Clark Worldwide. The title was I'm a Big Kid Now and the brand was Pull-Ups. Okay. Well, pull -ups so get it, get it. All right, All right gals, we wore her down. Good grief. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we do it. It's a difference. High degrees are impossible. Oh. Not that we're competitive here at all. No, no, no. like for the big prize. Uh, <laughs> to win, we had the lead and we just tied at least. <laughs> Poor Kevin, he is not competitive at all. Okay, here we go. Last I was week. Really tight. I got lucky on one last week. It'll be two in a row if I win this week. Four points apart from people. So let's see how they did. So let's go with um, the three moose cutters. Ten. Ten. Very mm -hmm. quiet. This is ten. Okay. And, and, and by oh, the way, why are we called the three moose cutters? Because <laughs> that was before oh. multiple people were added. That's why should have added Natasha, Natasha and Boris. What's a that? moose cutter? Musketeers. What does it sound like? Oh, I thought maybe cute. they were gelding moose. <laughs> oh, three musketeers. Oh, I get it now. Yeah, no, okay. Oh, brother. Okay. I said it right in the beginning and they didn't hear me. I didn't catch it. No, I still didn't understand. They say it with it. Okay. Now, Gail's team, let's see. Charging into last place with an eight. <laughs> oh, no. Gail. Okay. It happens all the time. Seeking forgiveness. At 10. I like how Carl always does it very because he knows everybody's mm. going to boo him. Okay. Shit. Now. Yay, here Carl! Here it comes. Are they going to tie or are they going to fail or what? So let's see. Trader Joe's. Okay, our team went round and round about the goddamn pull-up thing. <laughs> we decided that the pull-up was not sufficient so we rejected it and we didn't get the answer right because we thought they were pampers so we got eight mm. and that's exactly the reason i didn't want to, to count the pull-ups because i knew people would pick pampers mm -hmm. uh, okay well we you got, got caught with your pants down we got ah. <laughs> pull-ups were down yeah, I'm, pull I'm, I'm, with our pull okay. down. <clears throat> so biden hood how did you do did you we make 10 we got 10 
Look at that. Look at that. It was a little close. I like the way it's rotation. Leave it up. We're trying to keep this for solidarity speaking. Yes, yes, yes. But we got 12 in that one category with Rob's. Can we yeah, use so any of those points? <laughs> I think everybody got 12, didn't they? No, we would have got 11. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we would have got 11 or 10. Because we got one wrong. Everybody did really good. Look at these scores. 7, 7.4, 5.2, 9.6. No, because we got 1 was we didn't answer. Oh. I point to that was Peggy's thing, right? And yeah, that was 5.2 for that one. That was um And you notice that the people Beatles. didn't know. The Beatles. Wow. That's the one we got the lowest score on. Hmm. Uh, really really good job y'all. Very good. So we have a winner tonight and the winner is going to be Trump only shops at no 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 Biden, no, no. The, Biden the winner is not Carl for rich and we... poor students. So <laughs> I like that title. All right, so next game I have Carl, I have Terry, I have Jamie. Yep. Yes. And I emailed you that I was I could do a bonus if you want me to. And I have Kevin doing a bonus, and I need a category. I'll do a category. Robin. Yes. Okay, Robin's Robin, backup? No. Robin, the thing is, when you do a category, you yeah. find out for it, and then you come. And then Yes, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I also have to think it through beforehand. That too. Oh, that's so funny. Robin, you can always you do, do it first. Your calendar. You can huh? always do it first. And if you're not ready, then you can do it fourth, and you have the whole day to prepare the rest of the night to prepare it <laughs> she's not answering anybody else's questions so she's busy going through the you don't have well, a I'm meeting looking at, that night Robert? i'm looking at my calendar i don't have a meeting that night uh petunia has a vet appointment at 9 30 in the morning <laughs> okay so we're all but other than that i think i'm good so it's probably going to be veterinary category <laughs> dog related she writes in the waiting room veterinary medicine i know how she is all right you guys really great so we'll see you for game number 123 this same bat time same bat channel as usual for 123 in a row we've never thank you susan thank yeah. you all very you. good Hi, thank, everybody. You. thank you for staying and hanging out good with job, us I really Cindy, appreciate it. Romero. make sure you watch this on the um our uh, amazing uh youtube channel and and go never look know. at the oregon uh skeptics one too oh yeah don't forget the oregon skeptics oregonians for science and reason there oh, were some really good talks there. sr oh, all the talks were amazing yeah. except for mine just ignore that one yeah. <laughs> it was cut don't off. say such things it was cut off anyway so you know. <laughs> i tried <laughs> oh, you ran out of battery Susan. <laughs> So, yeah, I should have announced this. Uh, so Kenny Biddle is going to be our guest on Recovering from Religion on our uh, Monday uh, show, RFRX. Uh, so anyone who wants to watch him being interviewed by me and someone else there, and then also answer uh, questions from our, uh, our clients, from the Recovering from Religion clients on the live Zoom stream session, you can do that. It's Monday, 8 o'clock Eastern time, and it's recoveringfromreligion.org is the page, and you look at rfrx videos at the top that's where you get to the uh, the link and uh what i'm, I'm wondering is the, so i had I, the last one was nathan lentz i i, I got him to talk so because we're trying to talk about topics because when people come out of religion they're usually very poorly educated <laughs> in the sciences or anything like that mm -hmm. they also go into superstitious beliefs so we're trying to help them with that right so i thought nathan lentz would be good and we talked about evolution, evolution versus yeah. creationism Kenny's going to be talking about, you know, yeah, no, there's no proof. There's actually ghosts, which people believe in as, as a proof of an afterlife, right? Because if they're ghosts, what are they? They're spirits of dead people, right? And I'm wondering if you want to do a talk about uh, Are you medium. talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. talking to me about oh, what? What do you want me to talk about? Yeah, would you like to do a talk about debunking mediums? And then, no, they really don't talk to dead people. Oh, I'd love to talk about mediums. My God, I think I know something about mediums. Yeah, I think so. I can talk about them. Maybe, maybe I'll think of something. We've had those recent interchanges with those people that's really kind of weird. That might be a good talk. Well, Susan, worlds would be colliding. 
Okay, so I'll I'll uh, I'll suggest you to uh, Kara, and you'll get an email from them. What uh, time of the? It's always a monthly thing. It's no. it's no, it's every week. It's Mondays. Oh. It's Mondays, eight o'clock Eastern time. Okay, of so, course I'll of course I'll talk. So great. I'll Four o'clock. And I want to know if we can ask Kenny Biddle questions. Yeah. That'll be great. So do you think he'll know like who George's first wife was that he left? Or... <laughs> How do we get to these talks, uh, Rob? All right. Oh, well, let me uh, just give me a minute. I'll actually put the link. You think in. he knows the branch of biology that studies fruit? Yeah. Okay, Kenny, I'd like to ask you a question. <laughs> ask him that. <laughs> Everybody pick a different <laughs> <laughs> you said oh, i know that one God. Kenny, do you know this one <laughs> okay so here here's the link for the page that describes the the talk and it's got the zoom link there it has a time it doesn't have kenny yet they're, they're also always really late. you can kind of let people know oh, what day kenny. is this one Whoops. monday monday this coming monday this coming monday how long yeah. did you talk for 45 minutes so the format is at, at eight o'clock Eastern. Uh, the the people who run this talk about the are uh, the recovering from religion organization. Maybe fifteen minutes, so you could be late. And then they announce the speaker. The speaker goes for as long as they want. Sometimes it's a presentation mode, like Nathan Lentz did a presentation, like he does at SciCon. But sometimes it's a question answer. So I suggested for Kenny, we just do that because I've interviewed him before. We're just going to ask questions, and then we open it up to oh, and there's a it's on Zoom, so there's a, a Zoom chat and people. Oh, it'll be Labor questions. Day for me. Right, the fifth. That's true. Oh, so, um, oh it's not this coming any... Monday. It's... No, 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 no. Wait, isn't that the next week? So, yeah. is this coming Monday. This is the 29th, right? For yeah, sure. yeah. And no, the Labor Day is the next week. Yeah. Right. Uh, if yeah. you want, I don't know. Yeah, Bye, Alan. Bye, uh, Alan. Anyway, so there are questions and answers, and then they actually open up the microphones for people asking directly. Uh, you know, if this, if the guests want to stay, and I think Kenny is going to do that. And then, by the way, we always chat for like four or five hours. Just talking about different things. Good thing I'm on Easter time, not my time, because I wouldn't have to worry about it. Yeah. The, a couple, a couple would... of times, by the way, I say, does anyone want to play trivia? And, and I use one of the trivia rounds, and we play the same trivia that we play here, as Bob knows. So, Rob, when I talk about mediums, a lot of times the question comes up where I talk about that part of the reason why they fall for mediumship is because <laughs> their belief in the afterlife is yep. been ingrained in them so that would be okay to talk about oh yeah absolutely yeah i, I would think the gist is you know um if if you if some, some if you're being pulled back into a religion because of this lingering doubt that there is this afterlife and therefore the bible is right specifically uh yeah no there's no good proof of that you know despite what you see on television despite all of the mediums you see on television you have researched it, as you clearly have, and really, as far as you can tell, they're all con artists. So you don't want me to do it like a particular sting? You want me to do a... No, well, it's a, I, I would say if we could do it like an interview, about. if you'd like, like I'm going to do Kenny. That might be better, because okay. I can go any thousands of ways on it. And yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's do I mean, it. I could do Operation Onion Ring. Let's do it that way. Well, I, I can ask you about it, and you, and you could talk about that one. Yeah, I think that would be best. Okay. And, that, and then there'll be questions just, from the audience. To... You know, what's up, Bob? Just, just try not to re traumatize me. Re traumatize me? <laughs> well, you already know the stuff on the psychics. You've heard me talk about psychics. Yeah, that's true. I've worked through all that. <laughs> Can oh, somebody yeah. give me the um the geography questions from the first round? Because I'm I wasn't here and I would love to see the questions. That's a whole thing. Am I giving them a tour? Or just stick them back in the chat. I can do it if you want me to. Go ahead and do it. Yeah, they're still on chat. You just have to scroll all the way up. Well, yeah, they're not. They're here. not in. Not she, in chat for me, but somebody else. Yeah, she was in here. I got him, Robin. She's doing late. Geography. Yeah, when you join, when you join a Zoom session, you only get the chat from the point you joined. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay. Here we go. It's not a time machine. Oh, you want the answers too? <laughs> Uh, give me the questions. Let me see what uh, I yeah, can... I'll, put, I'll put them in separately. What city is the Taj Mahal in? Oh, oh Jaipur. Oh, no, don't you're wrong. Eh. wrong. Wait, <laughs> uh, Agra, Agra, sorry, Agra. You're right. Yeah. yeah. I've okay. been there. <laughs> Should have been on my team. Use you. 
we couldn't. I don't think anybody got that. I don't think anybody got that one. Okay, so I put them in your. I put them in Facebook Messenger. The first one is the questions. The second one, don't look at it until you've looked at the first one. Because that's the okay. Thank you. Bye all. Great to see you. Thank you for coming. Better Thank you for coming. We'll play Wordle. We'll play Wordle. Good job. Thank you. Wordle time. Wordle time. Play Wordle.